Welcome everyone to the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. I am your host, the complete Matt Cardona, a.k.a. the Thousand Dollar Broski, a.k.a. the Michael Jordan of wrestling figure collecting. And I am your host, the most professional wrestler, TNA star, proud member of the system, one half of the tag team champions of the world, the Scotty Pippen of wrestling figure collecting, Brian Myers. What's up, everybody? I'm also here to produce the show, Smart Mark Sterling Esquire, the most famous professional wrestling lawyer. And this show is brought to you by our good friends. Down since day one, number one sponsor, the first sponsor, Ringside Collectibles. Use code Major Save 10%. 10%. Get yourself those figures of the year, those ultimate outsiders. Wow, a lot of um, positive feedback on those two figures last week. I still have those on my desk. I'm looking at them. Incredible figures. Definitely. Candidates for figure of the year. All right, guys. Follow us on X, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Major WF Pod. Subscribe to this podcast if you're listening, wherever you get your podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and leave a review. Not just any review, but a major review. Post it to us with the hashtag major review. If we read it on air, you will get a prize. This one's a challenging one this week. Uh, Weird Owl of Wrestling Figure Collecting, Joey Hudson. He's back. Uh, major WF Pod, major review. First pick is the five star. Second pick are full lyrics. I'm sure Mark or Brian both know the song. I'm wondering. Uh, so I can't see his review. I was going to say, this is this is a botch. I, I can't see his Without review. saving the pictures here, Mark. Even I know that. Well, no, hold on. First of all, it. technology he sent idiot. It. He sent it. He sent the full lyrics, okay? First of all, this the, the, the lyrics aren't incredible, but who... No, none of us are going to read that entire thing. It's, <laughs> it's the Monster Mash, the Major Pod Monster Mash. No, no, I we're going to give this a shot, and I think no, Brian's going to do it. Oh. Brian's got to do it now. This is going to be like I wish I could read his that, review. That game that Iman wanted to, and no one enjoyed it whatsoever. That everyone loves the Mad the Libs. Was it a haiku game? It's Mad, Libs, <laughs> no, Mad Libs, guys. God yeah. damn it! I can't believe you never played Mad Libs. There's a bonus episode on MajorMarks.com, folks, oh, where God, we do a Mad horrible. Libs together. It's not horrible. It's, it's great. Horrible, it's a waste guys. Don't, great audio. Don't go out of your way to listen to it. Brian, do you know the Monster Mash? Yeah, I did the mash. Okay, I did here the you go. Monster Mash. I can barely re- see this. Okay. Listening to the pod late one night, in <laughs> my ears they heard a great toy in sight. Their front, their status began to a. Uh, praise does the xbox have the correct size thighs what we did the mash we did the major mash major match it was a ringside smash we did the mash raccoons in our trash we did the mash we did the major mash done this was it's incredible joey hudson i'll tell you this if you sing this whole thing i think we didn't we do this with him before Yes. So first of all, we offer this to him every time, and, yeah. but he he's only done it once. Yeah. If you sing the whole thing, we'll play it next week. If not, I appreciate it. It was a great review. We do appreciate review. It. Hey, it's a review. That of the was week. very long, though. It, yes. If if you are watching this, give it a pause. Read the lyrics. Yeah, they're really good. And Joey Hudson, like like we said, if you sing this, we will play it next week on the show. The giveaway, courtesy of Ringside Collectibles, find the pin post on X, repost it to be eligible last week. It was the D-O-double-G from the vault, Road Dog. Oh, you didn't know? Winner of that is... Alan S. Amateur you win, writer. pal. And this week is the matching figure, the badass, well, Billy Gunn. Go. From Maybe Alan can, can get it vault. again. All right, guys, MajorMarks.com, Patreon.com, slash MajorWFPod, the fan club, the subscription service, the family, the community. Every single week, we give away a prize to a new and old subscriber. Who do we got, Mark? First time in the line, Christian Rios. And the Christian! Um, John Altieri. Congrats. Guys, you get this podcast early and ad-free. Access to the Facebook group. All the bonus podcasts, we did the Batman Forever, and next week we're recording Batman and Robin. Have you guys watched it yet? I don't want to get spoilers. Um, have you watched it? Honestly, no. like, terrified to watch this movie because I think it sucks so much. I watched it yesterday on my flight back from Germany. Wow. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> For you, you must next and your childlike wonder to not enjoy it? 
We're in trouble. I'm not going to spoil my, uh, okay. my thoughts on that. Guys, you get all the other bonus podcasts. Let them breathe with myself. Silver Linings with Smart Mark. Figure Dissecting with D Freedom. The Captain's Log with Joe Shoes. Oh, baby. He's happy hour. What's the going Brian, on over there? Bare minimum He's selfie of the week. Yeah, the Brian selfie of the week. Yeah, Never so gets any selfie. respect on this rundown, I feel like, but it's a big it's a big hit. So me and uh Heath are recording on Wednesday. Br- Brian, I, I meant to, I was gonna text you this. You had an idea. I forget what it was. What what was the idea? Do we have remember? Heath read the WWE encyclopedia out loud? <laughs> I don't. All right. Well, is there someone not, in the I'm chat? Not, I'm not totally sure. If you guys have an idea of what to talk about with Heath uh, outside of a Q and A, um, I'm open to it. If you're in the Hard Foundation up, you get the bonus card. Oh, Billy Peck's signed. got it. The origin of Booker H. Oh, that's what I suggested. The yeah, origin Broski of Booker H. That. But that's yeah. not what Brian suggested. Right. That's just a question, though. I mean, how no, long do just that? he can tell. I mean, he could talk all about his backyard fed and pre being in the business. Yeah. Well, guys, people have been getting the, um, I guess, the September card, which was, Brian, tell everyone who it was. Uh, the lovely Alicia Edwards of the system with her TNA uh, knockouts tag team title. Yeah. Um, saw a couple of complaints <laughs> in the Facebook group about getting quote unquote random TNA wrestlers instead of people from the pod community. I'm thinking random. This girl's in Brian, the host's podcast, she's Sable, and she's a champion. The, <laughs> the other people that were in this set, these randoms, yeah. Eddie Edwards, Brian's tag team partner, uh, and Jordan Grace, the TNA <laughs> knockouts yeah. champion. These quote unquote maybe, randoms. And Jordan Grace, maybe one of the most relevant and popular pro wrestlers of the world today. So I don't. I remember a couple sets ago, we did Super Gabby at the height of his major pod popularity, and these same haters. Said, we don't want major pod characters. We're wrestlers. So make up your mind, people. We're never going to. I mean, I know people want them to be like Kurt Angle autographs or whatever, but like we can't. Someone would complain about that, too. So what are we even talking about? It's only the small minority of people complaining. Uh, The majority of you love it, and we love you guys. And we love the haters as well. And we got got the rest of the year planned. And then next year, we haven't figured out what. Pokemon. How to mm. catch him? Oh. Yeah, STTD, what he can take on workload wise, yeah, what he's comfortable workload with. Workload wise, if if the Pokemon is going to be that, Pokemon's cool. I think, I think I think Pokemon though, we might get C and D. That's from who? Cease and desisted. Yeah, but we don't sell them. They're free. Ca- they're free cards with a membership. No, but you never know. Yeah, right. it would it be really annoying. Is the juice sick. worth the squeeze? Not sure it is. Pokemon. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff over on MajorMarks.com. Am I missing anything, Mark? No, we're great. I mean, hey, well, ba- guys, all the Batman movies. That's right. If you're an Ultimate member, you're in the the chat right now, watching, listening. You're last gonna week, get everybody some, got to to be live. Yeah, last week they did, and this week you're gonna get some big rubber guy exclusive news here first, days before the rest of the world knows. That's pretty damn cool, man. Wow. All right, if you wanna. If you want to advertise or park a service, hit us up, majorpodcast at gmail.com. Guys, a lot of follow-up and random news this week. We'll try to rapid fire through it all since it's so much stuff. Uh, This past weekend, I was in Germany for Unlimited Wrestling. I had a hell of a time over there. I was in Thale, Germany. It was the middle of fucking nowhere, Germany. But awesome shows. Sold a lot of merch, two great matches, two great opponents. I will definitely be going back. I defended the internet title successfully. So I had a great time over there for uh, Unlimited Wrestling in Germany. What definitely. did you eat? What did I eat? Schnitzels? Schnitzel? Not, not, I will admit, not the best food options over there. Sauerkraut? <laughs> you, you were concerned about this. Bratwurst? And I was right. Not the best food options over there. And the area of Germany I was in... It was like a very, like, I felt like I was in, like, Germany and Epcot. Like, that's what it looked like. You know, there was, like, nothing I recognized. That's you know, cool. Was, Isn't that cool. cool? It was a great time. But I'm glad to be <laughs> you home. You definitely had McDonald's. I did, I did have McDonald's one night. <laughs> I did. 
And it was, it actually, the, I don't know if I was so hungry or what, but the uh, McDonald's in Germany better than the USA. Oh, I've always, I've always said that. Well, yeah, yeah that's the known thing, right? That's like yeah. different quality. But I had a great time over there. And while I was there, I wanted to bring this up. At the meet and greet, a fan had me sign my first Mattel elite figure, right? Mm -hmm. But it had foreign writing on the package. I asked him if I could buy it. He said no. I mean, I don't blame him. (laughs) Oh, neither do I. But like, Dan, that's cool with the foreign, you know, elite. Seri. So if anybody has this, I'm in the market for it. That's pretty cool. I'm in the market for it. Was anybody mad that you were charging for a picture and an autograph? I think the fans at Unlimited Wrestling were more accustomed to it. No, you know, no matter where you are, a couple people are shocked, right? Right. Even in the states, but they were they were accustomed to it. There were other guys from the United States over as well who were doing the same thing. Uh, uh, Ace Austin, Blake Christian, uh, Dijak were there, all doing the same thing. So this isn't like a Matt Cardona trying to screw his fans. Like this is how we make a living, pal. Right. Selling meet and greets. So. Like I said, great time over there on Limited Wrestling. I cannot wait uh, to go back. And this is big news, guys. GCW returning to Hammerstein Ballroom. It's going to be big. You guys were on the last show. Maybe you'll do run-ins on this one. I have a question about this commercial. Yes, sir. What were you wearing, and were you wearing it incorrectly? I was wearing a judge outfit. And according to a tweet, I was wearing it backwards. And maybe I was. I've never worn a judge costume before. Did you have the zipper in the front or the back? The back. Oh, I think that's correct. Yeah, it should be in the back, right? In my opinion. But I don't know. So I don't know. I've never worn a judge costume. But speaking of judge costumes, it will be for sale on whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> it will be for sale on whatnot. But that was my next question. So thanks for clearing that up. The commercial, it gave me goosebumps. I even teared up. I watched it so many times. It was very cool, yes. I I like that. At first, I didn't like it, but then I did like the fact that they acknowledged. Earring would know. He <laughs> says it's definitely backwards. So. Sorry, pal. Wow. Um, they acknowledged the hate of the first show. Right. Which I was like, why would you do that? Because I love the first show. I think if you're if you were there, I know, yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, it's like there was timing issues, and unfortunately, the main event had to be rushed. But other than that, I think also, everyone also the sound issue. Remember that like, you couldn't yes. hear shit when you're watching. It sounds like the crowd. I think yeah. everyone who was in that building loved it, right? Yeah, I don't think that was an issue. I think it was people watching at home that were like, "I don't get it." Mm-hmm. So I it was just a completely I, different seeing it through completely different eyes, you know? Right. So I inquired, why would you acknowledge this? Mm-hmm. And it's because, and I and I get it, and I think it's a great idea, because they didn't want people to say, well, the first show sucked. You know, so. I, I think it's genius, actually. If yep. you're saying it, then they can't say it. It's, right. it's very like what Zack Ryder did in the Z-Trilling on Story Days. If I say I'm a fucking jobber, you can't say, you're a fucking jobber. I just said it, asshole. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited. for Tickets are on sale now. Tickets are moving fast. I'm hoping for a sellout. The coolest part about this, this indie run and GCW is like, I legit, if I pay the money, I can make whatever fucking WrestleMania like entrance I want. You know what I'm Good saying? Lord. Like Brett Lauderdale ain't gonna say no. <laughs> well, get that weird little step down to the ring, so you can't be that creative. Or do I zip fly down like HBK? <laughs> oh my god, die and then we don't have a podcast anymore. <laughs> I was thinking about maybe bringing it down state, but there's no stage because the fans sit on the stage. Yeah, right? there's no room. If you have Hammerstein great- is one of my favorite buildings of all time. And like you said, tickets are on sale. And I would suggest if you're thinking about going on this to buy them because it's not as uh, plentiful as you think in there. It looks awesome on TV. You think there's right. like thousands and thousands in there, but it's really not. Right. So, um, Broski. Yes. Idea. Buy yourself the tickets to one of those balconies. Yeah. You know those balconies that stick yeah. out? Yeah. That's the downstate balcony. Have them set up right there. That's actually great. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. That's going to be tight. But it Man, they're just bit. rocking out from up in the balcony. It's pretty cool. <sighs> Ooh, I'm thinking about it. 
<laughs> Damn, I, I should I edit this out of the show? No, 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 no. And, they, and you could give it to friends and family like your skybox for when you're not working. Yeah. Ooh, I'll think about it. <laughs> what do you guys do this weekend? Well, come on, guys. I, I, Collect I, major was in the house, New York Comic Con, four days. Sergeant Slaughter, live and in person with our Sergeant Slaughter Big Rubber Guy exclusive. It was a big, uh, big, big milestone event for a collect major, I would say. Um, I went for very briefly to sign in and out, check on Kinnick, make sure, uh, you know, he was alive and well. And uh, we had Max Caster, Maven, uh, Enzo even appearing at the booth. So it was a great time. Was it a, a high traffic event? I got, I got to tell you, man, man whew, I get like Comic Con out real quick because you can't even walk. Yeah, I don't really. Can't even walk. Like go, to, just my, to go to the bathroom was like, oh my god, it's not rough. my thing. That's why when Broski this year was like trying to FOMO me into going to Comic Con, I was like, yeah, there probably are moments that I'll feel FOMO, but then there's moments I'm like thanking God that I'm not there for. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I when you have nothing to really do, like if you're not trying to wait on a line to get a figure at Comic Con, I think it's great because like, what if it's busy, you just leave and come back. Yeah, but it's so like can't walk is like not fun for me. Yeah, I'm just not interested in it. Yeah, um, I was very proud of the booth that we had. Knick held down the fort. Um, man, the booth looks super professional. I don't know if we have any pictures to post, but yeah, Knick worked his ass off. Man, he was there all four days, selling the exclusive, t- you know, schmoozing. Oh yeah, major marks that. and people, and we showed off a lot of a lot of prototypes in there. Like that, that's a mixed bag of like finished samples, hand painted prototypes, resin prototype, you know, all over the place. So. It was, it was very cool to be there and represent. Seeing this cool. also made me still want cabinets like that in my toy room. <laughs> I mean, of course. It's yeah. so nice You and have to like rent, rent these kind of things to do conventions like this. Yeah. And to have Sergeant Slaughter there signing the just, big rubber guy. Always been nothing but the coolest and such a pro and it's great. And guys, if you still want that Sergeant Slaughter, at the time of this recording, it is on collectmajor.com. So this is the New York Comic Con exclusive. There was only a thousand made, and I think so, we're down to like 150 or less. Yeah, so I would stock, get that so. right now. Get it, it will be sold out by the time you listen to this Friday. So all you guys listening early, tell your friends. Collectmajor.com. Get your Sergeant Slaughter. Watching this Saturday. How about that? Well, if you're watching it Saturday, fuck. There's no fucking way. You might as well try <laughs> just in case, but probably gone. Probably gone. But yeah, and then my weekend continued, Creator Pro, big show at Melville, and we had the wanted man in the house, so that was quite um, an honor, you know? It was cool to have, you know, one of my, my best buds, a guy that, you know, I've respected his in-ring work for so long, you know, I do think he's one of the best in the world, and it was cool to have him around how, my how students. How was his match with, the the, with VSK and them? Yeah, it was awesome, man. Was Did Eric awesome. stiff him? No, Eric didn't hurt him, thank God. <laughs> uh, him. You guys, I know Bryce... Uh, Donovan, who who does a lot of the promotion for Cap, he was a little nervous about the ticket sales, but it looked like it was a good show at least. It, it filled up, not like what we were hoping, but like I don't know, man. Attendance is down, like across the board. People said attendance is down at Comic Con. Hog was Friday night that Nick did as well, and they said their attendance was down. So I don't. I maybe don't it was know. just split. Maybe maybe all over the place. There's too I much, too many events. Either. I think, I think you guys like, got to bring Matt Cardona back to the New York scene. You know what I'm saying? Know. I don't know. <laughs> if that's it's actually been a while either. since you've wrestled on Long Island, right? It's been a while. Someone explained to me that I mean, when I was in high school, nobody had lights, so none of the game, the football games, were never at night, and now a lot of them are at night. Things like that. I don't know. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Got it. Could well, be a plethora. Of I mean, the Yankees stop. had an epic game on in, during that show. I mean, there's a lot of things. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. We were in uh, Stockton, California, which is outside of Jose. Uh, of course, the guys uh, and I were busy. Um, at, wouldn't you know it? Here against Danny Garcia and Private Party, I didn't get beat up. What? Yeah. Wow. I escaped unscathed. You just walked through TSA pre the next morning with a smile on your face. Yeah. No neck brace. Wow. No neck brace. No broken Proud arm. Proud of you. Yeah, it was great. But I didn't want to bring something up, uh, and this is actually a part of what Broski was talking about. Somebody tweeted us. I, I, I look. I I don't know if he meant this negatively. But he, he tweeted me and Brian and and Matt for, for whatever reason. He said, I just got back from a WWE show. Randy Orton was there. He took pictures with a ton of fans and signed autographs for them absolutely free. 
And I read that I read that oh tweet and I was thinking, cool. Like, <laughs> okay. Not, when but then I was wondering, like, that's is like comparing the unproduced Hasbro Great the Hammer Valentine to Mitch's Dan Hart Smith. <laughs> That's like comparing apples to oranges. Two totally different yeah, what situations. Are we ta- two like... totally different things. My my and and look, maybe he was just tweeting us to say this. I had this nice experience. Right. In which case, pal, good for you. I loved it. That's one of my favorite things about wrestling. However, if he was tweeting that to us to say, "Look, you dummies, these people do this for free," I would say. So do we. I mean, I, yeah. I had literally read that tweet an hour after I did a a, a, a VIP thing at AEW. AEW does a does a VIP event for front row people and, and they meet people backstage. And I often host that actually. So I was in there taking pictures and signing for free as part of my job. Right. Right. And a lot of times People in AEW do these pictures, these meet and greets as part of their job. Sometimes WWE will send people to Comic Con and they have to do it. It's right. part of their job. Right. Sometimes if you're, a, if you're in WWE at Fan Access or whatever it's Mar- called now. Marky K has a good point here. Yeah, but that guy paid to be at that show, didn't he? So like nothing That's true. was that well, nothing. Yeah, but was also free. fans are paying for an indie show. So. Yeah. Yeah. But guys, also independent wrestling is not WWE. No. You know what I'm saying? It's just not. No. But but there are, are also moments that Brian would sign for a fan if a fan came up to him for free if in a certain situation. Yeah, if I'm on the street, I'm not asking for forty no. bucks. Yeah, but if I right. but if I land and there's a bunch of autograph guys at the air, yeah. airport, right, stalking everybody for free shit that they're just going to sell. No, I don't want to sign for them. Right, but the, but my point I is, there's the right plenty of times no. in a wrestling career's life, in a wrestler's life, that they will sign for free, and that's part of the job. But then there's also part of the job where you have designated a select time where you're working to do a signing so that you can add value to a figure, a piece of paper, a card, or whatever the hell. You 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 meet, you you interact, you have that thing, like that's the transaction. Um so that's all I was was And my argument would be if you go to meet Randy Orton at a fanatic signing, you're paying. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. For situation. For sure. Yeah. What I also like like Mark said to start this whole thing. I don't know if this guy was trying to be spicy been, about this, yeah. or he just, or he. I, was, I couldn't tell either. Right, we couldn't yeah. tell. Context is whatever. Scary. Yeah, if he was just saying he had this great experience, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. That's I mean, one of awesome the best things way. about wrestling. Yes. Yeah, for sure. I did want to give a shout out to Major Mark, Purple Best Wishes Shirt Guy, Ron Bosch. He got married in Boshtober, no less. And here, here he is with a bunch of major marks, and they're doing the Cardona pose, the Smart Mark pose, the Brian Myers pose. It, it's it's great that this uh, community has started. And look at this: there's people at people's weddings. Love yeah, that. this is a great picture. I actually picked this for um, major mark purchases. So I will let me just read what he said. <laughs> Bosch bought his bride. Uh, what? No. <laughs> what? I was I, I was upset there was no purple, right? Right. He he posted a picture of a purple suit and everybody's like, "Wow, you look great." He's like, "This is not my suit." <laughs> I know, I know. Say, so right, why did why did you post? Uh, he he said, "Biggest big boy purchase of all the purple best wedding." I've made some earnest buddies in this community and was honored to have them join my wife and I on our big day. We even did all of your trademark poses. Thanks for bringing us together. Sorry for not wearing the purple suit I posted from Google. I'm getting married. I'm getting married over here. <laughs> wow, that's, that's awesome. great. I love uh, the Major Mark community. And speaking of that, on X, Walt WVU, he posted this, guys. Restarted my collection thanks to your podcast. Love I mean, it. is that not what it's all about? I do like that. Fucking that, that love. That very nice looking case he's got there, to tell you that. I fucking love it. We're, we're breaking the stigma that adult collecting is actually cool. You can collect whatever you want. I have a big collection, a small collection, whatever. So stuff like this, all these years later, it means a lot. So thanks Absolutely. for just tweeting that to us or posting it to us. Really appreciate that. Uh, Zombie Sailor, Wrestling Heels and Faces, the one of 800 Matt Cardona. I was about to promote it and say it's almost gone, but it's gone. 
Is so, it? I saw I got that email. Some left or whatever. It's gone. So uh, it's gone. unless unless you know how zombie does, you know, he takes it down, puts it back up. <laughs> Are you? Uh, do you have these yet? Because he said he's shipping like now. He posted pictures of them in stock. I do not have them. And I, oh, say, I got I got a shipping notification for the two I bought. You bought two? Thank you, pal. Yeah, well, come on, I'm a completist. I bought um, zero. I no, that's not true. I get. I think I get like twenty four, and then I bought another twenty four. Right. So, but those are the other twenty four to sell. Well, most of the first well, they're all to sell. sell. Well, come on. <laughs> so. Hey, I, I'm a little confused. So, so you have a two pack. I have the bloody two pack with Gage. Do, do, okay, so the two pack, the red shirt is red. Red, covered in blood. Right, it's covered right. in blood. So yeah, this yeah. one is pre blood. Right now, I'll be the first to say I wish my series one head with the spiked up hair was on this. Right. right. Because that's the, the I've fit. already wrestled and my hair is down. But there yeah. are pictures where I haven't gotten bloody yet where my hair is like this. So it is accurate. Got it. But if maybe I not pre, were maybe, designing the figure. Maybe four minutes in. Yeah, it's like a four minute in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whew. So, Thanks for clarifying this. Listen, I still this think is, This cool. is like when you and Gage are just chain wrestling, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Gage is bloody. So if mm-hmm. you see any photos and like there's blood on me, it's not my blood yet. You know? Okay. I don't know. This is a How lot. How many times have you it. watched this match back? One time. Well, actually, uh, no, no, maybe twice. Maybe right after it happened, and then I watched it back. I, I feel like I watched it back for my my YouTube channel. Yeah, I was gonna say I I feel like I've seen a watch along. Yeah, so maybe it was the yeah. Just I don't like watching my stuff back. Right. <laughs> I really I just don't. It's like, hey. it's like we've talked about it before. You don't go and try to watch like Ninja Turtles the cartoon because you'll fucking hate it. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to hate Well there's certain things that hold memory. up. Maybe you're, right. you're I wrestling. actually your wrestling just doesn't hold up, I guess. Oh my it, wrestling holds up. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my things. every week I'm trying I usually try to record and, and post some sort of piece from our thing on TV or whatever, but I'm I, I cringe so much watching my stuff that you know that, that I have a hard time doing that. Yeah. Uh just, so is that it just the two? Just the white two. shirt and the red shirt. Yep, for now. From that match. And that's okay. account series yep. one, which is Trunks. Right, so yeah. right now I have three zombie sailor figures. Got it. Which is pretty wild. Did you? Say, that, is that a four? What I'm getting out of, of this conversation is that Mark did not pre-order this. <laughs> I didn't. I, I screwed up. All right. Uh, Guys, I got a, uh, a story about The Miz. His Funko Pop, the new Funko Pop just hit. I got a nice text from the Miz. I want to get out of town. No way. And and I asked him if it's I because he needs something or wants something. That's why. So see. guys, I don't know if I discussed this, but I designed this Funko Pop. Like and, Funko and WWE came to Miz and asked him what he wanted his new pop to look like, and I gave him this. Like I designed this. Like I, st- obviously, I didn't. You know draw it out but i said it should have the briefcase the title the you know like a throwback like this is Wait, your most did you iconic. say in a nice way like hey mike nobody cares about you right now so you should do a flashback one is that what you said in a <laughs> Matt Cardona what I said. kind of way I said, he said i think it turned out great and he posted a picture of him holding it send it to me i said wow, wow i love that it's perfect i wrote iconic he said wow coming from you that means a lot even though it was your idea and then <laughs> this is where it gets funny i said I need to get one signed. I didn't realize they were out yet. <laughs> and he said, I didn't either until I landed in Philly last night and I signed like 20 of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. It hurts my soul. Oh, poor Miz. Oh. Man. Man. Uh, That's cool, though. Yes. People have been getting their power towns. You know, the, the we owe you one. We owe you one. However, a couple of the legs have been breaking. <laughs> I don't, I'm so confused by all that. I have no idea. So I don't know what's going on. Like, and these are the, the ones that are supposed to be the fixed ones. Well, so they don't they have, have the sticker. sticker so, Was this a freak act? And now, guys, let's be honest here. I've probably seen less than five posts. Right. But also... That's the exact way that they break when they break in the leg. So it's not right. like it's just. And I've never. Another thing which should be said, I've never seen a broken carry Magnum or uh, who was the other one? Uh, Fez, I think. Right. I forget. Only the first three can potentially do this. Right. Brody, Stan, and 
uh, Ganya. Yeah. yeah, so it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> you know, right. um, if guys, if this had the sticker and you tried moving the leg, I'd be like, that's on you. Yeah. If it didn't have the sticker and you tried moving the leg, that's not on you. <sighs> so, my, like I got I said, my shipping notification for my two. I should have them this week. I have not received mine either, and I did mine like immediately. So I thought it was weird. I don't, I don't have mine yet. Interesting. So I do think it's great that 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 Powertown is trying to fix the delay situation, and we have seen some updated photos of ours. Um, I'm not quite sure we're going <laughs> to share those yet. Uh, I'm such a Powertown freak. Like, uh, I I have a saved search for them on eBay, and now they are they normally like. I don't want to say next to none, but very little. Now it's like flooded. Oh, because probably everyone who got them is going to flip them. Or, yeah. You, know, I mean, you got to hold on to these for a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Got to hold on to these for a little bit. Guys, we, we always uh, mention um, like the, the backing, the crowdfunding, if it's something we collect. I do want to talk about the Hasbro Pulse Hazlab exclusive Ghostbusters Ecto 1. Finally. And there's two versions there's a regular version. That's three twenty five, and the deluxe version is four hundred bucks. The deluxe version, I think, is the way to go. It has six figures, and you can turn the Ecto one into the Ecto one from Ghostbusters two. If it's backed in a certain amount of time, you get the Lewis Tully. Um, Mark, I know you won't be getting this, right? Probably I not. Might actually. Really? So this fits with the the six inch. Yes. Ones. This is the first six inch Ecto uh, Ecto one ever made. Maddie Collector did a, a backing a decade or so ago. I've talked about this before. I didn't back it. It wasn't funded. Obviously, they weren't one person off, but I blame myself. And ever since then, I always back something I think is really cool because I don't want to be responsible for not getting backed. This particular one, I had to back both versions because to. You can make it go from Ghostbusters 1 and 2, but you can't like keep doing that. You know what I'm saying? So I would need a Ghostbusters 1 version and a Ghostbusters 2 version. So I had to buy two. I had to back two. Oh, interesting. And the early bird is the Lewis Tully. Mark, do we know where we're at as of today? Can we check, check that out? I really hope this gets backed. I mean, if this doesn't get backed, we're never getting a fucking Ecto-1 for the 6-inch. Which is How a- far along is it? It just started, so it must- it's it's six thousand five thousand seven hundred eleven backers out of twelve thousand. So it's halfway. Halfway, that's cool. but how I mean, that's how how started. much long do we have? Forty one days. I think that's oh crazy. It'll god. Get I'll get back. Yeah, I but, think we'll so, get there, but I don't know if we're gonna get this Lewis Tully. That's what's scary because that's like an early bird thing. Is either if it gets backed in a certain amount of time, I believe that's how it works. Man, I'll tell you. <sighs> Wait, why did you think I was not gonna get it? I didn't think you had the other Ghostbuster figures. Okay, I don't. Um, what are these? What are, what are the <laughs> figures? What are the Ghostbuster figures? Ugh. So with the basic version, you just get the Ecto one, yep. and it, this is electronic. It all lights up. It, it comes with a Slimer for the first time and the Library Ghost. Now for just a couple more dollars, well not a couple more, from three twenty five to three ninety nine. Yeah, that jump is not crazy. It's not crazy for what you get. Right. You get all the pieces to turn it into the one from Ghostbusters two. Right. And you get four Ghostbusters from Ghostbusters too. So what am so that's when they go into the ground or whatever. That's like With the their, slime. Yeah, they, their their outfits are different color in Ghostbusters too. Right? Isn't that when they're dressed up as like workers or, or, or? Yeah, but that's not what they wear the whole time. They, that is a scene from the movie. Yes, that is a scene from the movie. Yes, um, but their jumpsuits are a different color in Ghostbusters too. I got it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I I love this. Look, I, like you said, okay, now I'm seeing the picture. Oh, yeah, it's darker and they have the big tank of slime. Yes. All right, that makes total sense. Uh I don't have any of these, but now I will. I'm literally going to buy them because this is this is what you want in a toy room. Yes. I'm I am going to find a prime spot to display this. I'm it's going fucking, to get it. I think people are also, you know, not realizing how big this motherfucker is going to be. Ugh, but look how cool. Frick, I, I have a spot right now in my mind I'm going to put that thing, and it's going to be the, the main thing. I don't really care about the figures to be. I might not get the figures, yes. like the extra. I just kind of want this. So I hope this gets fully funded in general, but also quick enough so we can get the Lewis Tully, because that Lewis Tully is fucking beautiful. Yeah. So... 
I think that's really, really cool. Another thing, not quite wrestling related, but it's definitely collectible related. Brian, did you see this? GameStop now offering PSA grading. Um, I heard about this, but right away, so whoever I was talking about had the same thought I had. Like, I don't know if I trust leaving my stuff Fuck with no. you. No, are you right? kidding me? But that was my first thought. Like a the at no offense, but the average GameStop employee to me, well, I wouldn't want them handling my cards. A. What, uh, first of all, you're going to bring it to him like a top loader or the right protection, right? But right. Like, I'm not saying anyone would steal, but what if you can't give him like a fucking Jordan rookie? I just, I don't know. You'd be a fool. The whole thing is just very strange. Right? To me. Yeah. I mean, like, maybe what's it's the cards difference? You don't care so they, still, they still have to send it out. It's not like they're slabbing it in the back. Right. So, like, what's it? Just do it yourself. I don't know. Well, I am, I will admit, I did pay Mark Bitters to send two N64 games to WADA because I couldn't be bothered filling out those fucking forms. Bro, I did that, and I yeah, am Yeah, it's idiot. the easiest bet. It, like, it's it, it's so like easy. Disturbingly easy. Even How, Brian did it. I, well, that, that's that's the problem. Like I did it, bro. It was it was worth it for me to, to give a little tipski to Mark Bitters. That's Jeez. What about this? Social media star, Big Daddy Mark. He finally did it. <laughs> you know what? Everybody just fucking <laughs> let's just tune out and fucking tune in to this. <laughs> Do we have it? <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. Ah, we, we don't have the video. We don't have the song? I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh. What the heck? What a tease, bro. What a that's a big cock tease right Holy there. Holy smokes. And yes, if you see the little cameo logo, of, yes, I did pay I for it. Is that a typo? What is that, huh, Broski? Caught. I paid for it. I'll bet I pay for it. I tried. Yo, I looked up it. Big Daddy Mark's prices. They're pretty stiff. No. They're stiff ski. What what it was like a hundred bucks. That's stiff. I think I'm more than that on cameo. I, I raised mine real high because I didn't I didn't really like doing it, to be honest with you. And I don't get any. I don't think I've got a cameo in <laughs> two or three years. Well, keep talking, Matt. I'm going to try to find it. Well, uh, Big Daddy Mark all over the place. Now I'm making wrestling bookings. Always here. stop me. I'm always ready. When the lights go down. Then I am free. Can't stop the heart to me. No stopping me. All right, Big Daddy Mark, baby. Do you think he knows that it was you that asked, or he just felt like a wrestling fan really wanted to hear your song? <laughs> I don't know. They got me thinking. What about a Big Daddy Mark, Major Bendy? I'm down. But <laughs> we'd have to get it done quick because I feel like Big Daddy Mark's popularity. I just have a hunch that maybe it won't be sustainable, but <laughs> just a little hunch, but. Kadek, if you're listening, let's let's sign him up, Big Daddy Mark. <sighs> Bendy. Uh, do you see on the WWE? It's like their new vault thing that they had going on. It's really really cool. They just dropped a bunch of '80s and '90s figure commercials. No, that's cool. But I would like to see them in good quality if that's what they have. Maybe that's what they have. Retro '80s and '90s WWE toy commercials. Because those have been so, on YouTube since the beginning of time, but they're like, I don't know, taped off a tape of a tape of a tape right, right. of a tape of. A, TV commercials, so you know. I think it's really cool. That part would be cool. These are iconic. This was our childhood. It was a to me, yeah, for sure. Time for pro wrestling. Yeah. So definitely check those out. Uh, it was also this past week the 30th anniversary of Clerks. Like we've been celebrating it all year, but it was the actual 30th anniversary. It's crazy. So I think it's so cool that we have not one but two sets of Clerks figures out. We have the uh, the black and white ones, which are. NWO sold out, and the color ones we can get right now. Pro Wrestling Tees. And look at that. Or autograph ones. Are those uh, Kikuchios? I'm not quite sure. I definitely, I, need, I definitely need them autographed. I kind of think I'm the Kevin Smith of pro wrestling. You know what I'm saying? That's In what way? Just creating his own lane, doing his own thing, you know? Creating okay. his own success, living his own universe. I was like, that looks like swaggle to me, but that's, <laughs> that's just... I didn't say I look like Kevin Smith. That's just cosmetically, but yeah. Man. All right, guys. 
A lot of follow-up, Jesus Christ. Major product listed in the October 2024 issue of Diamond Comic Distributors Preview Catalog. I thought that was cool. Beautiful, yep. If you, uh, you can't buy one of those things pictured, but yeah. Yeah, I don't think you buy <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think you could buy still, any. Still of very those, cool. Still very cool. We'll yeah, take still it. Still very cool. And then, like we talked about earlier, the big rubber guy, Sergeant Slaughter, the Comic Con exclusive, is still for sale as of this recording on collectmajor.com. Only 1,000. Get them before they're gone because I will go on record and say this this will not be repainted in any other color. So we did the original, which was based off the unreleased LJN. We did this. <sighs> this I'm not saying will there won't absolutely be, be retired after this release. Yes. For sure. I'm not saying there will. I, fuck, I'll even say it. There will be more Sarges eventually, but it'll and be this, a new mold. Yeah, this mold will be retired for this sure. This mold will be retired, so get it now. And also, guys, Bully, Bendy's, and Beer, November 22nd. Guys. If you haven't bought tickets, what are you waiting for? It's going to be a major party, a major hangout. It's going to be an awesome event. Don't forget to get your Bully Ray Major Bendy available for the first time at this event. It won't be in stock, but you'll be able to get the the shell signed by Bully. Look at how great that looks right there. And Bully was all over that Maple Leaf Pro Wrestling this week, which, by the way, Scott Demore, great job on that show. It was looked great. Pay per view quality two yeah, nights I saw a sold lot out. Of stuff on social media about you it. You know, yeah. I, mean, I texted him trying to politic to get on the. Oh next yeah, one. were you coming in to win the strap? I bet. <laughs> I actually cannot believe you were not on it. I was asked to be on it, but I had a booking in Germany. Oh uh, yeah, uh, which I don't know if this should be public, but well, fuck, Canada is international. My international rate's a little bit higher than my U.S. rate, so <laughs> <laughs> could have turned down that Germany booking. But guys, this is the best part. The Hangout Afterwards. We've done this last time, but now it's a show. Now you have exclusive merch. But there will be not one, but two exclusive beer cans. Check that out. The Major Beer and then, uh uh-uh, the Bully Beer. So get the two exclusive cans at the show. And we haven't decided yet what kind of beer this is. I think it should just be a regular lager, right? Yeah, we were talking about an American lager. But we haven't decided Very smashable. Very smashable. Very shotgunnable. So get these because uh, I'll tell you what, the next day, GCW at the American Dream Mall, in New Jersey, I'm coming out to the ring with some major beats. Well, I was going to say, Sandman entrance? Sandman huh? entrance. So get those right now, majordwipod.com to get your tickets. Anything else for follow up, guys? Just the fact that I have to take a monster piss. But other than All right, well, after Brian takes a piss, we'll hit you with the news. And the news brought to you by Paps Blue Ribbon. The Major Pod Network has partnered with our favorite adult beverage, Paps Blue Ribbon. Everybody needs some liquid courage to make their own weekly purchases. Scratch that figure itch and scratch that PBR itch. If you're listening to this, you're already a major mark. Now it's time to become a major PBR mark. Use hashtag major PBR and post your pictures and videos of you major marking out with some Paps. Paps Blue Ribbon and the Major Pod Network, the tag team champions of the world. Of the world. Major PBR forever. Welcome to the news brought to you by Paps Blue Ribbon in Germany. Unfortunately, there was no PBR, so I didn't drink any beer. I didn't go to the pub. But now that I'm home in the good old US of A, I'll be drinking some PBR. Well, I'll tell you what, the New York Jets are so goddamn bad, I'm going to need a lot of PBR this season. Love it. And use the hashtag MajorPBR. If you use your picture or video, you'll get a prize. Who do we got, Mark? We have, <clears throat> right here, Joseph James at JoeU832. When your wrestling podcast leads you to start sewing, so you make what? a PBR bag because you found PBR fabric while fig hunting fabric fate. Mm, love That's that. Cool. All right, guys, we have a lot of news this week. Again, I'll try to rapid fire through it. Latuni showed off a one of 500 Andre the Giant. We discussed the previous ones. This one has a, a face paint design. Um, I think it's cool. It's a cool concept, cool idea. We'll talk about a similar idea later on in the news. Uh, Latuni, 
you know, I don't know exactly what they're doing. The first Macho Man they have is clearly modeled after an LJN Macho with different arms, but fans seem to enjoy it, so that's all that matters. And I don't know about you guys, but these legs look kind of familiar. That's all I'm going to say. Nothing. <laughs> no product is in anyone's hand yet, though, right? No product in hand. Yeah. These are available now for pre-order at Latuni.com. I will also say on Latuni.com, you can buy Big Rubber Guys Andre the Giant, which is kind of weird. Hmm. Hmm. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Golden Era of Wrestling and the Nerd Closet showed Matt Maniacs of the Steiners Road Warriors, we've seen these before. These are the first shots. So these will these are real deals. You know, this is a company. Yeah, that's yeah, been, that's a test shot. They've been hyping product for a while. Um now they're finally doing it. I think this is cool. It's like a I don't even know how I think it's its own form factor. You know, I guess it's the same yeah, size as a, a Hasbro. It's a hybrid of a Hasbro for sure. Yeah, it's it's definitely unique. And we said from the beginning, like, this is cool, but you gotta bang people out. And they are, to be fair. So they got I'll the what, if, I, if I was uh, Rick and Animal, my feelings would be hurt because Hawk and Scotty got the six pack. That's right. So, uh, <laughs> but based on the test shots, they look cool. They look very unique. I like it. And they announced Matt and Jeff, the Hardy Boys. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. That's really cool. They look really, really cool. I, mm, I it's dig a unique this concept. Item, I'll say that. We might, I think we need a Matt and Brian two pack. I guess if they're only doing tag teams, they might. They're as only well. do tag teams. <laughs> we'll hit them up, uh, guys. There is another fucking Hasbro esque retro company, Toy Notion WrestleFeds, showed off their three D versions of the British Bulldog. I will say this: looks fucking incredible. Looks and there's two versions. But before I even knew there was two versions, my thought was, as great as this looks, how many? Retro British Bulldogs do we fucking need? I mean, he's the most retroed man of all time. I honestly think he is. He's I think he's at over ten. We're ten right. ten or over ten. And wow. the worst part is that most of these companies are using the same fucking factory. <laughs> man. So they're all competing with each other and literally competing <sighs> for factory time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but wow. I will say, based off this art. Whatever you want to call it, I think it looks great. Uh, it does I look cool. It, I'm wondering how that cape is going to be executed, but whatever. Dare I say the best retro British Bulldog ever, maybe even better than the Hasbro, which is crazy. Well, time will tell. Time will tell. Again, this is just artwork. Yes. This company, who else are they making? Who else are they signed? Speaking of brand new retro companies, Title Run Toys showed off their artwork of Mr. Wonderful. So that's cool. Cool. I guess the the arms are going to move and the legs will move so you can do the pile driver, which oh. I kind of like. Wow. Again, a company that hasn't put out anything yet. So we wish them well. Let's see what happens. Right. And I wonder like who else they have signed. <laughs> we'll find out soon. Man, there's so many just so so much going on. Guys, FC Toys. Wrestling Something Wrestler Series 2. Buff Pagwell and the Patriot. Available for pre-order. These are great. I Pretty will sweet. be getting both of these. I love what Jack does at Wrestling Something Wrestlers. I think he does a great job. But like I know for a fact, him and Mitch, same factory. And I don't know for a fact, but I'm pretty damn sure that's the same factory as Epic. And also the same factory as this Toy Notion. So, like, they're all kind of competing with themselves. Both for customers Ooh. and for factory time. But these look great. I think they look really good. It's yeah. a wrestling figure business, not the wrestling figure friendship, right? And guys, speaking of retros. <laughs> no. I can't make this up. Epic Toys. The <laughs> wrestling megastars, the deluxe DDP. In stock, people have been getting it. It looks fantastic. Yeah, this is a wild concept. I kind of just want, I don't want this, but I do want to just see one in person. I do want it. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to display it because, like, you can do it with the shirt, doing the the diamond cutter, but then you could also do like a regular, more so Hasbro esque figure. I guess you could buy two and make two. Right. But this is clearly uh, an ultimate style, which I really, really like. I think it looks, and the face, the sculpt looks fantastic, I think. And, guys, (laughs) I'm not making this up. Even more retro news. Hassel Toys and Collectibles 
Grapplers and Gimmicks showed off Kurt Fuller. Um, <laughs> I will say this, guys, and I can't believe I'm saying this. At first, I thought, there's no reason to get this. I don't need this. However, with, with Mattel making the no-holds-barred Rip and Zeus, it kind of fits. No, it's great. It no, it does, yeah. Yeah. This, we this always story... said this would be great, but we were questioning the elite. <laughs> but the elite would go with the ultimates. They have the ultimates of it. Right, That's I guess if it, if it fits in. This was the one I was always questioning. Um, um, but then we saw the 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 no holds barred. So that's the happy accident because Mitch just p- made this before the no holds barred <laughs> figures were covered. Uh, this story is terrible, but I'll say it anyway because it's kind of funny. But you know, I'm at the booth, the collect major booth with Connect. You know, talking to the people, signing autographs. A guy walks by, he starts talking to us, and I could see in his like tote bag that he had purchased this exclusive Kurt Fuller. And I said, "Oh, you got the Kurt Fuller? You're obviously here for the Sarge." He's like. I'll think about the Sarge. I just had to get the Kurt Fuller, though. <laughs> I mean, and they kind of just looked at each other like, holy shit. Wow. So Mitch was also at New York uh, Comic Con, had a display. Can we just show the display? Because there was so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of John Cena's he's making, huh? <laughs> well. <sighs> We discussed. <laughs> we discussed on the show that we wouldn't post his uh, illegal product, and we would. <laughs> Why we even? T- <laughs> we gotta go to the next thing. I even think the uh, Jean Pierre needs to be blurred out. To be honest, it's a no. Uh, That's a question. I'm sure one. PCO did it at an indie from time to two. Yeah. So uh, I will say the stuff he put out looked really good. Uh, just unfortunately, some of the stuff we can't talk about. I like the big Terry and Heath. You could t- tag them together. Yeah, the uh, the Heath looks great. Actually, no, the Heath does not look great. What am I saying? The Heath looks like someone made that in 1998. <laughs> but the Jean Pierre looked great. The uh, the Brain Busters look good, and even the stuff that we can't talk about a show. A lot of it looked really good. So I, I'm just curious, why did Tully eat Arn? That I still don't know either. <laughs> I still don't know that either. But. Yeah. It's it, it, it I mean this picture it looks it looks like Tully's body is bigger than Arn's, which was never the case. No, I think they're the never, same ever. body though, right? I don't know. He look he looks I don't know if it's the angle or what, but it looks bigger than Arn. Hmm. But the Jean Pierre looked great, and like I said, a lot of the stuff that he showed that we can't talk about looked really good too. More you can't see oh, look, me. Oh, there's his stuff. There we go. Okay, so here's some stuff we can't talk about. You know, you see I love the Coco. Coco looks great. The 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 Macho Man's look fantastic. The TL Hopper or whatever they're calling him. I mean, honestly, I think some of this should be blurred out too. To be honest, with really that Dookie in the toilet, there's piss and shit in that toilet. Right <laughs> like I must be dehydrated. Yeah. The the Rougeos look awesome. We had those in hand. We discussed those. So Mitch has been doing a great job. His product, we'll talk about it later, has really really improved. So we wish him well. And I'm curious to see the, that six inch stuff as it moves along. Yeah, and guys, I'm not I'm not making this up. More retro news. Zombie Sailor, heels and faces, showed off Bob Holly. I saw I saw a couple of posts about this saying it doesn't look like Bob, saying he has big feet. <laughs> like what I think earth? the feet might be just the angle of the photo, guys. But yeah. Hasbro's do have that. And I, I personally think it kinda looks just like Bob Holly, so I don't know what people are talking about. Especially that that you know, ninety four or whatever, Bob. Yeah. But hey, my, it's everyone's my only critique. I mean, I was very excited about this because I didn't see it coming, and it was super exciting to me. But my only question would be the wrist tape. But maybe Bob just didn't wear it this time. I don't know. I do like okay, from that angle. Look, it doesn't look like he has big feet at all. No, exactly. exactly. And Hasbro's have those kind of feet, so it's like very accurate. I Not like- to mention the guy who sketches these in the first place is the guy who sketched Hasbro. So like, right. Not really very debatable. Well, sometimes we've seen with the artwork that the arms aren't as long as the actual product. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Well, also, I mean, I guess I can kind of be a hypocrite here. Some of those Ron Rudat designs in the back of the packaging and then what are like almost completely different sometimes. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But I don't even just mean proportions. I mean, like, they're not even like the same stance. Right. Yeah. I will say, looks like he's doing like a perfect plex. 
I dig it. I like this. And if people don't like it, I'm not saying, you know, that's their opinion. I personally like it. I personally am going to buy two. If you don't like it, uh, you don't have to buy it. But I, I'm very, uh, I'm excited for it. Bob's definitely somebody that I wish, like, you know, in this last round of Legends deals got one because I'd love to have him in. Bro, you could do a Bob Holly. Like right, Chris yeah. Bob. You could do a hardcore Holly. Yep. There's a, there's a lot you could do. There's a lot of meat on the bone. Or, yeah. A lot of meat on the bone with Bob Holly. Uh, the the boss. Oh, he also showed off the the Road Warriors. Finally, he is making the Road Warriors. They oh, look great. Those are samples. Oh wow. And look at those. Those look like real chains on the spikes. Jeez. Unreal. Yeah. The hold up on these, uh, I got from Zombie is that he was you know because when LOD and Road Warriors where no figure company has ever done this the correct way, ourselves included, there should be a strap connecting the front and the back. And Mitch, I'm sorry, uh, Zombie, I'm sorry, I just Mitch. Zombie <laughs> was going to do the strap, but it kept breaking. Every time they were retooling it, it kept breaking. Like the armpit strap? Yeah. Yeah, but I, I appreciate that, but I don't think you need that on a toy. I agree. Yeah. I agree. But these look fantastic. Look at that. Oh, my God. Man, it's wild. Crazy. Looks so damn good. Ooh, what a rush. Make sure uh, you get those. And these were never even like for sale yet, so I'm hoping when these no. go up there, like ship right away kind of thing. I hope so. Yeah. The Boss Fight Studio, Mass Republic's Legends, Lucha Libre, Fanatico's, Coffin Box, Vampiro, sold out, I believe. Blown away, sold out the ones they had, I believe, at the Wrestling Universe that they had in stock there for that live appearance he did over the weekend. Sold out. They sold out on the website. Soon, whatever, whatever website they were selling. Everything, on. yeah. Across the board. It's so, a great cool. figure. I think I saw Vampiro at the uh, JFK airport on my layover. Uh, I bet you did, because he came and signed for uh, Comic Con and the Wrestling Universe. It looks really cool. Um, not something I need in my collection by any means, but looks great. I um, think it's awesome. If someone offered me it, I'd entertain purchasing it, I think, but I don't. Think yeah, I not me. It. I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, it just doesn't fit in my rules. Me either. But I'm. I have like a weird soft spot for vampires. I think he, he was like one of my favorites when I was a kid. Someone who was one of my favorites, Maven, who is now a comic book star, <laughs> uh, kicks out a project for a 32 page Maven comic book, Akari Press. I mean, it's so ridiculous. You gotta get it. Knick uh, said Maven was really pushing this at Comic Con. Kinnick really told me it. that Maven walked into Comic Con with no badge. And if you know anything about Comic Cons, you need a badge <laughs> to get in. He just walked in with his entourage, and the people at Comic Con just loved him. We're giving him food, <laughs> drinks, <laughs> snacks. He's just, he's one of a kind, guys. One of a kind. You've I yet him. to meet Maven. Go meet Maven, guys. You won't regret it. I texted him last night. I said, Don't get too big for us, pal. <laughs> Don't get too big. Uh, it's the comeback of the century. It definitely is. Yeah. McFarlane Toys is making Dwayne The Rock Johnson from the upcoming Red One movie. Which What's I think one? is very, very interesting. This is a Christmas movie? It's a Christmas movie. Yeah, so, I don't know anything about I this. Think I don't either. I think there's a single pack and then there's a four pack coming. So I think it's cool. I mean, not right, something I'll be getting. One? But maybe I'll love this movie. Who knows? I'm gonna have to look into it. Yeah. What if I, What if we love this movie and we all need these? Oh, and hey, I watched uh, Jumanji for the cards? first time ever. Fuck, I loved it. Watched really? what? Jumanji with the Rock. Oh yeah, I watched that a lot with my kids. They love man. Both. Yeah, we loved it. We got a little Jazzwares update from Ringside. The Unmatched Collection Eleven delayed from mid November to late January, early February. Whoa. And who, uh, we got who is the un, who is Unmatched Eleven. That's a Sting, Darby, that kind of set. Uh, Damn. And the Unrivaled Collection, um, Ringside Exclusive, Takeshita. That looks awesome. Wow. Yeah. He had a banger match with Speedball and Mike Bailey at this uh, Maple Leaf Pro. They were going it. for it. It's uh, a great figure. Yeah, I, loved, I really love the packaging for this Takeshita, too. It was very unique. Is this the first time we're seeing all these photos? Yes, this week they showed them. Whatever this week, uh, I thought it, I thought for sure we saw this packaging already. Mm. Oh, man, that looks awesome. It looks kind of like finished with the window box and stuff. Yeah, 
God. It's very cool. The Mattel Creations exclusive WrestleMania retro ring has been found in Marshalls. I know. This is crazy. And not by one people. Even our, our head sculptor, Brian Beatty, found them as well. Right. So that means they've been found in Maryland and Illinois. They said home goods, someone said even? Really? At a home goods? Yeah. yeah. I haven't I heard that. Could have swore I saw that in the Patreon group. But someone said home goods. Mm. What about the 2025 main event ring play set? Have you seen this? No. Like what? This, like this, like, I wish they made this when we were in WWE. Oh, I man, we could have plugged them. the shit out of this, man. I'm kind of confused about this. This like, is like, so it has Raw or main event aprons? Your pick. <laughs> wow. It's like, that's actually pretty cool. So you could have like your 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 mid carters, the guys that don't use on main event. <laughs> Let's switch it to the raw for the big Holy guys. Holy shit. We would have had a lot of fun with this if we were. We would have had so much so fun with this. I'd, <laughs> I'd be to play all my figures in a main event ring. Holy shit. That's fucking you awesome. Out. Shit, I'm also thinking really there's cool. no way any kid plays main event with their figures. You never know. Uh, maybe. The Man, real... you know what they should do? They should do the same ring with like a 98 raw logo and shotgun saturday night <laughs> i'm rule. serious like no, no, i fucking rule. buy the shit out of that yeah I'm, I'm not even fucking joking around uh the the ultimate edition costume collections we talked about last week how great they are ricky steamboat million dollar man on sale thursday october 24th 12 p.m mattelcreations.com make sure you get them i think they're must-haves yeah i got two sets they're really excellent figures man excellent excellent figures and the Ultimate Edition CM Punk ringside exclusive. We saw updated photos of that. Looks uh, great. That CM Punk looks super cool. <laughs> We're still on the Ultimate. There we there go. We go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. This is the uh, the Money in the Bank. He's got the spinner. He's got that iconic shirt from 2011, the slick back hair. He's also got the hair where he's, it's a little messy. He's blowing the kiss. That's like the money skin, right? Yeah. What a iconic figure you know this is gonna be a hot seller for ringside for uh it's great for the next upcoming months so check that out cm punk all right guys uh let's talk a little major right now there's the display from from comic-con we we talked about that earlier but um <clears throat> you know those are all either resin samples or you know rubber samples so we're really we're really you know, coming along with there's the brawler there's the uh the hardy boys it's the first time i held brawler and jeff at comic-con they're so were cool. they rubber or resin no it's the real deal oh wow and they're they're still missing things that we've tweaked you know it's not the final 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 oh, got it uh there's myself brian the upcoming evergreen blue flare our version of the road warriors um the Powers of Pain, which should be in stock any fucking day now. We're sorry for the delay, guys. I don't know what the fuck the delay is. They're they're, they're coming like any day now. Yeah. Powers Ethan of Pain Page. and Dusty will ship. With the, I race. think the next 10 days, they're all ship. I fucking hope so. So these look great. The, oh, I cannot wait to have those Powers of Pain in my collection. Right. And then, of course, the major stars, the the Macho Man, myself, Brian, Dan Housen. Why really weren't you understand? I really got man? screwed with this setup. I don't know. I didn't even ask. Well, you're these you're are all box. you're no, no, no they're hand painted and stuff. Though. Those, these aren't ready to go. No, no, no. And people have been asking, "How do you get the rights to Jesus Christ?" No, the guys, that's Buddy Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy Christ. Which I told Kinnick, I said, "Hey, Kinnick, don't you think it would have been cool at Comic Con to have our Jay and Simon Bob stuff on display?" And he kind of looked at me like, "I love Kinnick, but sometimes he doesn't think he should be thinking." <laughs> He's very overwhelmed by this test. He's very overwhelmed. We need yes. some more help for Kinnick. So I have said it a million times still, but he refuses. So, Yeah, so there's the Joe Hendry, the Andre the Giants, the Buddy Christ. So, guys, also, this is where the big news is coming, guys. We got, we got a bunch of reveals here. Earl Hebner coming to Wrestling Collector Man. Shop. You can pre-order this now, guys. Earl Hebner looks incredible. He's doing the count. One, two, three. Slapping the mat. Um, Man. Looks fucking great. I tried, guys, to do a variant with the white shirt, kind of like the uh, LJ <laughs> figures. I was outvoted. Yeah. But I tried. I tried for you. So get your Earl Hebner right now. Wrestling collector shop. And, guys, it's almost Halloween season. 
So this Friday, you can pre-order for almost a week Andre the Giant Halloween Special, October wow. 25th to the 31st in the accurate and correct blue singlet. And he will get a free cutout mask to cut out and keep with every order. Ooh, Andre spooky, the Giant, bro. October 25th through the 31st. This has been um, in the works for a while. It's just, you know, it's, it's funny. Latuni puts his out. We have ours that we were going to drop on Halloween. Somebody said, oh, we should probably drop a little earlier. So there it is. No worries. No worries. We're Get worried about now. us. Andre the Giant. Unbelievable. People have been asking for our big rubber guy, Andre, because he was very early on in our sets. And he's and, one of the know, best ones. And he's one of the best, and it, it sold out quickly. You got to get on the secondary market. But here's your other chance to get the Andre the Giant. So get it now. Collect Major October 25th through the 31st. The pre order is the order. That will be it. Maybe uh, the most I, toyetic Andre of all time, guys. The most toyetic and accurate Andre of all time. But that's not all, folks, because over the Big Bad Toy Store. Ooh. What a rush. Walk. Animal. The Road Warriors LOD. Brand new molds. Removable spikes. Removable shoulder pads. From that iconic pose, you put Animal in front of the hawk. Wow. So good, brother. So good. People have been asking since we did the Road Warriors, you know, even like different companies, like, hey, can you repaint these to make, you know, kind of like a Legion of Doom style? Like, no, because the the shoulder pads are totally different. And when we do the Road Warriors, we're going to do them right in different poses. And Big Bad, they came to us. They said they wanted the Road Warriors. We said, you got it, pal. So there it is the Legion of Doom, the Road Warriors. Wow removable shoulder pads get it big bad toy store i mean damn these might be my favorite big rubber guys ttd nailed it brian Baden nailed it deep freedom finding you know, all the dream, intricacies dream, things to dream make the team, most accurate. Brother. the dream team it's, put it together uh, man. man it's so if good you have these on your shelf and that's a that's a conversation starter totally so get those at big bad toy store I believe starting today, if not just revealed today, but I think they're available today over at Big Bad Toy Store. So we're very honored to be working with a company like right. Big Bad Toy Store. And, um, you know, if you fans, if you major marks help these sell out, you know, the sky's the limit for, for more exclusives. So Big Bad's been a great partner so far. And uh, we're trying to take it to a whole nother level with these Road Warriors, Hawk and Animal. Mark, have you seen these before? Or is it the first time? This is seen the these? first time. I'm blown away. So yeah, Mark's not uh, in on any of the talks when we <laughs> talk toys anymore. Really cool. <clears throat> these look great. And I might. I mean, look. I'm just looking at the pictures, but they look like probably the most detailed, coolest um, big rubber guys yet. Oh Amazing. yeah, absolutely. And I just and, like uh, that they they literally are made to go together. Like you can pose animal in front of hawk. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. very smart. Really cool. And I, I just love that they're... Oh, Mulligan's Collection says live on Big Bad Toy Store right now. Wow. Boom shakalaka. I'm so guys, make know. sure you get these babies. The red and black attack. Ooh, what a rush. All right, guys. We have some ringside news. Shop ringside collectibles. Huge Halloween sale going on now. There are new images of Takeshita. We just talked about those. And ringside collectibles exclusive accessories are back in stock. Included the padded barricades, ladders, tables, chairs, wheelchair, and more. I love all those extra accessories from ringside. Expected in soon, the Steiner Brothers. Oh, baby. Ultimate Thank Super. Thank God. Elite 113 with CM Punk, Carlito, Kobe Kingston, Dragon Lee, Trick Williams, and Tiffany. Elite 114 with Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, Braun Breaker, Dragonoff, Tommaso Ciampa, and Zoe Stark. And up next, I wonder if Zoe ever got that prototype, by the way. <laughs> Absolutely not. You know that's a, Probably not. No way. And up next is the Ringside Top 10. Top 10. This episode of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast has been brought to you by Ringside Collectibles, the number one online retailer of WWE action figures. 
Go to WrestlingFigures.com and make a purchase. And when you do, use discount code MAJOR at checkout to save 10%. Number nine, The Sandman, Elite 111. Number eight, LA Knight, Ultimate 23. Number seven, CM Punk, Elite 113. Number six, Paul Hazeman. Paul Hazeman. Paul Heyman <laughs> from the vault. Inside uh, Number five, Jay Uso, Elite 114. Number four, Paul Bearer, Elite 106. Number three, The Outsiders, Hall and Ash, Ringside Exclusive. Number two, The Dudley Boys, Bubba Ray and Devon, Elite Two Pack Exclusive. And number one, CM Punk, Money in the Bank. Ultimate exclusive. <laughs> All right, guys. Up next is weekly purchases brought to you by Major and CollectMajor.com. Big match in my ass. I'll bring my guys. You have yours. I got Sergeant Slaughter. And I got Rick Flair. Woo! Here's Andre the Giant. And here's Macho Man. Ooh, yeah. And Brian Myers. And Matt Cardona. They're so real. Can you tell the difference? Roster Cup. Video Silence. Big Rubber Guys. They're for real. Each sold separately on MajorBendies.com. Big Rubber Guys. Collect them all. All right, guys. CollectMajor.com. Go pick up your Andre the Giant this Friday. Go to Big Bad Toy Store. Get your Road Warriors. They're it's live, a big pal. Week for big rubber guys. It's a big, big week. Check it out. Oh my God! Look at this. We just put the ad up on social media for the mask. Check out. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> the Andre mask. Let me see if I can pull this up for you guys. It's Knick wearing the mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! That's Knick. It looks awesome. Well, yeah, but it's a Photoshop mask on it. Yeah, it got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Pretty incredible. <sighs> yeah. All right, guys. Um, weekly purchases. Hold on. We got the little giveaway there. Oh, that's right. Every single week, use the hashtag collect major. We use your picture or video. You will get a prize. Joe Sullivan at Awesome Joe is says the work wall is getting a little itchy for the next set of big rubber guys. By far my favorite Ooh, line to collect. That looks Look awesome. at that. He's got the bendies too. Love that. All right. All right, what do you guys get? I had a very light week. <clears throat> um, I, through the help of many, many major marks, I completed Monday Night Wars only for people to find that dusty set this week. So I'm um, crazy, right? That now. I know it's ridiculous. I was Wait, like, so you fuck. got the you got the Build a Shaw Michael set? Yeah, I got everything done now. Which ones in that set? Sorry, but I have a couple of questions for you, Broski. Okay, wait, that set is X Pac? No, Build a Shaw. The Michael. dusty set has X Pac, Lita. WCW Warrior and Razor, Razor. Ramon. And then what's the Shawn Michaels set? If that's greatest hits, so it's all like re-releases, right? No, no, no. no. So Shawn Michaels is no greatest Kurt hits has Hennig, the Vincent. It's so confusing. Austin, Boss, Boss Man, Man, Eddie. No, Eddie's the greatest hits. It's so confusing. I need the uh, Vincent. DDP, DDP, DDP. It was so DDP is the hits? DDP is the winner of that set of figure rolls. Yeah. Um, I had to. I'm so annoyed I had to get another Kurt Hennig because you, you convinced me last week that like... You have to. You have to. So I'm going to do s straps up, full cowboy hat and guitar as like a rap is crap one, and then I did straps yeah. down, NWO shirt, different head, the two down? different heads. Yeah. You like pull him down, he's got the shirt on over it? Yeah, just to change it up a bit so it looks more you different. You can't just put the shirt over the strap? It doesn't look great. How does it look with the straps down, though? 
Cool. Better. I mean, this is more unique, I think. You going to post pictures of that? Sure, if you'd like me to. I I'd like to see it. Um, and then the other thing is Bam Bam Bigelow. That is the one and only WCW Bam Bam Bigelow release. I, you got to keep it, in my opinion. Oh, It doesn't make me happy. I, I, I can't. I just can't justify it. To me, I have to keep it because it's the only WCW. And the reason... Why, you know, Brian and I are questioning it is because the, the Legends figure previously is almost identical. It's, I it's literally took boots. comparison pictures. It, it, I will say this it's a nicer version, like a slightly nicer version, but there's no, the only, and the only actual like difference that you'd be like, oh wow, there's a difference is there's no, no flames on his boots. Well, the, the boots are totally different, aren't they? No, they just don't have the flames. I thought the WCW ones are like shorter boots. Mm, no. You sure about that? Pretty positive. Actually, we just put, posted pictures on our uh, Instagram. You can oh, let's let's check it out. Let me, let me, let me look, look for yourself. I'm gonna look for myself right now. But I'm pretty positive. Major W S Pod, the Bigelow. Yeah, it's the same exact boots, dude. Mm, I see. Just no yeah, flames I mean, on. The, that's rough. That's real rough. <laughs> it's that's real just rough. not enough to keep. Well, the so, one with the ECW with the flames on the boots, obviously you have the TV title on them, right? Yeah, well, no, I don't, because that's an accurate belt they never held. Oh, man. So I don't like that. And then it's just, I really wish they just made this orange. We would have been all, we would have been Yeah, fine. if they would have made it a different color, we would have I know, been right? We been, there would have been no debate here. It's rough. Yeah, I, I see. What <sighs> it, it, Mattel they did something really weird here because it's supposed to be the same figure as it's supposed to be like a greatest hit. It's supposed to be the same figure as the other one, but right. they clearly so, know it's not because the first one's from ECW and this is right, WCW so makes, versus knows, WWE. Yeah. And it literally has WCW logos on the packaging, like says, and it like, says WCW. like the date, isn't it? Like it says like date of when he wore it and stuff like that. Maybe, but I for sure there's WCW the logo. So I don't know. Those are I mean, my. I, disgu- I didn't get rid of it. I have it like in a bag, but I'm like, how do I display this? This looks ridiculous. It's the same figure on display. And the other thing is, like, it's a really good figure, so you'd want it to be like seen. But couldn't you? I don't know how you have your display, but like, for argument's sake, couldn't you have one with the ECWs and one with the WCWs? Yeah, but it's the same figure, so that's weird. Yeah, I know. I hear what you're saying. The Sean for me is an instant get out of here. <laughs> the uh, the less ring gear Sean. Yeah. It's, yeah, no, yeah, get out of I here. actually gave that to VSK this weekend. But some people were thinking about keeping it. I mean, if you collect Shawn Michaels like Vinny does, I do think he needs it. It's it's different, you know. Yeah, sure. Because you yeah, can also trip, to, you to have me, the one in the gear where you could pose it in the gear and the story. Right, and then this right. this one you have hands and in different articulation, you could probably make it look pretty different. Not enough trip, to keep the though. Triple H was a keeper for me. Me too, because it was an upgrade. And then the Eddie was a keeper for me. Same, because it's an upgrade. Okay. That's fair. Uh, hey, was, um, since we're talking about the Monday Night Wars, I just, okay. I actually caught up. Best one, Donnie from the group. He finally got me Fake Diesel and the Kevin Nash. Jeez, bro. Yeah. You are so far behind. Is this Major well, now, Rewind? Are we listening to Major Rewind? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But now I'm up to the the Vincent set. So... Which you I'm, need because you, you're an NWO completist. Yes, I need that and and the the Henning one. So I need those recent sets. So the ones that are hitting stores right now, I'm caught up to at least. But like I said, the people have found the Dusty set now. So it's a whole. It's crazy. It's right. wild. Um, I had another question, but it escaped me. But all right. From Pastel it's, Toys, it's, it's difficult. I got the uh, the 1995 era British Bulldog. And I finally got the SummerSlam British Bulldog and Diana Hart Smith. Mm, I need that one, actually. We give Mitch a lot of shit on this show. This this Bulldog is incredible. It is incredible. It looks cool. Yeah. It, like, the, just the detail of the braids, the detail, you're not going to be able to see it. These slits in his pants, like, you can't see here. They're not, it's not just painted, it's molded. And the paint app, I don't know how the fuck did it's so clean. It's so fucking clean. I am so impressed with this figure. It's like the the beads on the braids are paint. Like there's no like like everything is perfect paint app wise. And then the Diana Hart Smith. 
the it's just incredible. It just the the improvement Mitch has made since Series One. It's it's literally night and day. Uh, the the ninety five one century. I like as well. M- Mitch and Maven, two the the greatest comebacks of all time. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's true. The the we talked about before. The upper torso is just a, is it is slightly too big for the lower torso. I noticed it, does, it right away when you. It does sure. bother me a bit, but I I do want to say like th- these figures are improving. And if I had any constructive criticism to Mitch, I would say this: like your figures are improving so so much, but your packaging looks so bootleg. Like in my opinion, zombies look like a continuation. Like they're they're retro esque, and even like wrestling something wrestlers and an epic. They look like Hasbro, but it looked like their own spin. Like Mitch looks like someone was making a Hasbro logo on Microsoft Paint. You know his yeah, packaging. Yeah, there's like the photos with the filter are not always like yeah, like his, so his packages right? just does not. It, the quality of it, like. <sighs> The quality is, good. is for sure nice. The quality, yeah. I mean, like the cardboard and the bubble and the glue is great. It's just oh, like your your. I think your figures would be taken way more seriously if you had more. It could still be Hasbro esque, but more original packaging because the figures have been getting so damn good. It's just the packaging looks like like almost dollar store bootleg style. I I, I actually sort of I, I actually agree with you on that uh, and. It's almost like the figures now are so good they deserve a, a, a packaging that a little matches more. That. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. I, I, cool. This is not a shot at Mitch by any means. Like his, right. I, I literally think like like these figures that they're they're unbelievable. They're this. I can for someone who who deals with making figures from a factory, like just look at this figure and see how perfect all this paint app is. It, it like blows my fucking mind. That he was able to pull this off so good. The Diana Hart Smith, we gave him shit for so many months about it. I guess fucking a year or so now. Mm. But now that it's here, do you, it's fucking do great. Do you think, like I said last week, it's better than a Mattel attempt at a female retro? 100%. Wow. I will say this. Wow. I mean, there's not much to compare it to, but this is the best retro female that's been made by any company. And I know there's not well, a lot. Well, there's it really what, looks Chelsea. like it fits with the Hasbro. Chelsea, yeah. that, the myth of that that like mini Bull Meccano. Remember that? Better than that. Luna, better than yeah. the Mattel, uh, China. Yeah, that mini, mini ass Luna. It's, uh, it's absolutely incredible. So, Mitch, great job on these. Um, and I will be, you know, a buyer of, of most of your product. I, I just hope they all stick to this quality because it really, job well done. Awesome job. Cool. Um, uh, retro stuff. Remember that company? That German company that was going to do stuff called CWF. They had like an Alex Rye in a ring and all that stuff. Yes, yeah, mm. yeah. Okay, well, that, that company dude from, fell the dude off. from Sanity. What's that? Wasn't it like the dude from Sanity? Yes, yes, yes. So uh, that guy came to my show in Germany. Um, his account on Instagram is WWE Retro Figures. And he explained to me, I'm like, what, what happened to this? And he told me, he's like, he was teaming up with Cella and they had all these plans, you know. Prototypes were made, contracts were signed, and then the guy Charles from Cella just legit ghosted him, stopped responding to him. <laughs> well, so it's unfortunate, but he gifted me like prototypes of the steps he designed. Hmm. Also, the um, like the timekeeper's table, which I thought Whoa. was really cool. The um, the the championship title holder. These are all Hasbro sized, right? Yes, yeah. and the championship title. I said, dude, this product is so good. You should like hit up like Hastel or fucking Epic or or Figure Collection <laughs> and have them buy. If you have all this stuff designed and like the they'll just take off your CWF logo. Yeah, you know, make the ring. I think yeah, I not think a bad great. attempt at least. Yeah, like why not? If the molds are made, yeah, and designed, just sell them off. Maybe even some of the figures too, like an Alex Wright or that, you know, like Alex Wright would sell. Enough, and just like anyone else. Right, right. So right. hopefully someone buys the uh, the molds from him and really, really cool stuff, and I, I appreciate the uh, the gesture, so thank you very much. Um, my last get, I bought a lot of autographed figures from a major mark, Dupree, shout out. But I really had my eye on was this Ooh, bad boy. Wow. Autographed. Samoa Joe rookie figure, a little bit of a uh, figure fate because I feel that you know 
when the conventions are rolling around, I always creep the, the lineups to see like, you know, what I need or whatever, as far as autographs go. And, uh, I think it was, is it see the WrestleCade or big event? It said at the bottom, they had like canceled guests or whatever. And Joe was canceled. I'm like, damn, I'm, this guy's elusive. And then like literally that day I was able to purchase this in the group. So that's great. About so that. now I don't have to bother him. And now I don't have to make Mark button. do this at catering. Yeah. Yeah. And That's I got awesome. a nice, nice looking, very crispy Joe here. So the collection I is growing. It. That's cool. What else did you have from him? Uh, a bunch of stuff or whatnot. So oh, many whatnot. autograph figures. Yeah. I got this from Amazon. It's the uh, the NECA Beetlejuice. This is you know a re-release of something they made in the past, but I didn't get it, so it was perfect for me. Great. So this is not an Ultimate Beetlejuice. I, 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 my heart of hearts tells me they will make an ultimate Beetlejuice in this gear eventually. Yeah. So I'll have to. Yeah. Beetlejuice gear. mania is running wild, huh? I it really is. No, because I'm not into it, but. Yeah, it, it totally is. So this is cool. It has the, uh, the snake and the, uh, the book for the, uh, the handbook for the recently deceased. So really, really cool. I, I love Beetlejuice. Always have. It's a movie that still holds up to me. And, and speaking of Michael Keaton, thanks to our friend D Freedom. I got a Keaton 89 Toy Biz Batman with the right Keaton face. Oh, thank God. Rounded so, chin, square gotcha. chin, <laughs> clef in the chin. I will be uh, opening this, uh, the bat rope, the, all the accessories. What an iconic package, this Toy Biz Batman. We have this in uh, our Patreon, majormarks.com, whole 89 Batman movie review, figure review. So check that out. Only what, $4.99 gets that? Or a different tier gets that one. Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine gets that one. So, uh, man, <coughs> looking at the back here, the Bat Cave. I still need this fucking Bat Cave though. So, if anyone has the Bat Cave still in the box, I want to get up, that. Pal. I want to get that bad boy graded. That's that's my goal. Ooh, gra- that'd be graded nice, Bat Cave. Dude. No, the Batman. <laughs> so that'd be expensive. <laughs> I'm I'm done. I just got those two figs. Yeah, I'm done. done. Yeah, I had a very very light week. All right. Uh, anything else for for major mark purchases of the week? Well, we have major mark purchases. Oh well, of the week. We, let's we, go we, to major okay. mark. That's purchases not, that's not how you asked that question, but okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, well, I already said one when we talked about Bosch, so let's go to this one. He, here's our pal, Kikuchio. Yeah, he went hard, huh? Uh, 2024 was the first time in about 10 years that I skipped on attending New York Comic Con. However, I created my own little Comic Con weekend by attending a few events around the area that coincided with the con. Wednesday, I attended the Vampiro comic book and coffin figure release event at Wrestling Universe. Was able to meet Vamp and had him sign his limited boss fight coffin figure as well as his San Diego Comic-Con exclusive bloody figure. What made this figure extra special was the inclusion of a 1 of 1,000 sticker on the package, which was not included during the original release. Was also able to get a few items done for major marks who were unable to attend. Saturday, I attended a signing at Jane Silent Bob's Secret Stash in Red Bank, New Jersey with Kevin Smith and Jason Muse to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the theatrical release of Clerks. A fan, a fanatic event as a fantastic event as Kevin makes you feel like a friend, not a fan. Was That's able cool. to get my major bendy signed, as well as their newly released micro brawlers. Cool. Great. Uh, okay, Roy Lucier here, and and I will tell you guys. Um, wow, I have never seen that one. Me neither. But <laughs> Stockton, California, I'm coming out. You know, we're doing the walk and talk. I do, I do my little we our little thing, you know, and I'm being a bad guy, and I look in the front row, and there's Roy Lucier just looking yes. at me, all excited, and yes. I, it really it took me out of it, and I just was smiling like this. Yeah. I was like, I was like Roy, and then I realized the camera was right on me, so I'm not sure uh, if that was on, but I was just really delighted to see Roy in the crowd. But. Love that. He says, this past Thursday I went to Stockton, California for AEW TV taping. I have to admit the best part was seeing Smart Mark Sterling and his premier athletes perform live. Well, thank you very much. It was unexpected, and I completely marked out. Also, before the show began, I had former AAA Rena de Renas champion Taya Valkyrie sign her 2024 boss fight I Am Brilliance figure. I love that. In bright blue paint pen, the figure is Barbie-inspired, 
more than the usual ladies pro wrestling action figure and even comes with her dog, Presley, an amazing evening. I've never seen one of those signed. I've, and I've only actually seen that once. It's person. really cool. It's I've not never, as, it's I've never much seen smaller than a Barbie. It's different than you. It's very, I can't even explain it. All right. It looks kind of like a LOL doll if, if, if there's any uh, girl dads uh, out there. Shout out to uh, Taya. Today's her birthday as we oh. record this. I thought this really was cool. Happy Ta- birthday. Tom's wrestling collection says not exactly a purchase, but I won a $500 gift card after my wrestling collection won the October contest for best man cave. Now I'm not awesome. only a giant nerd, but I'm an award-winning giant nerd. <laughs> yes, which, thank you to all. You know the what? That's a cool thing to be able to say. Huh? Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. He did tweet to us and posted his room. His room looks great. Um, but I thought that was neat. If anybody out there thinks that you should join this competition, Game Day Collections at Man Cave Masters, check it out. Maybe you could win. I don't know how often they do it. I love right. that. What, worth a shot. <clears throat> All right. This is Whoa. just uh, a, a good one. Frank Romeo said, Sergeant Slaughter, one of 100, are getting signed at Big Event in a couple weeks. Oh. That's a that's a great Why boy. Why did you just show up to New York Comic Con, pal? But nice. That's a big boy. <laughs> this right? was a uh, Toy Fair exclusive back in the day. This is one of the first things that that Jeremy started doing was these Toy Fair low run exclusives. I think they got a little excessive toward the end, mm. but this is one of the original ones, like right. the one of one hundred. Real rare and, boy. Um, really, really cool. That he's gonna get that signed. I I still love the classic superstars. I think the idea of it changed the whole wrestling business not even just the figure business but unfortunately i just don't think they're celebrated as much you know because mm. the mattel figures are just so much better the, right. i'm but, also questioning like the accuracy of this outfit for the first time now that i'm really thinking about it good call did he ever wear black <laughs> shirt and black like what I don't, and that hat looks fucking atrocious that is horrible on him. yeah it's terrible uh this is a nice little story um, Dennis Fletcher said the first figure my kid ever pointed out in a store like an idiot I didn't buy it for him just took a pick I had to go back and find one on eBay Side fo- sidebar full disclosure moment I was totally okay with not having kids when my wife and I got together I felt it would be fine without them honest to god truth watching Brian and Mark playing with and unboxing figures with their kids during the pandemic completely changed my mind and now buying and surprising my kid with figures is the coolest thing in the world. The most life-changing and expensive free podcast in the world. Wow. That's awesome. How about that? Well, you'll never regret that, that's for sure. Hey, I have a I have a stack of NECA turtle figures that I need to open. Yeah. That I have just been saving for a time that me and Iris like have, you know, time to just open and hang. Hey, did you did you pre order the the NECA Turtles Street? No, I already have it. I'm I'm, I'm not going to get a second one. But don't you have more? I do. Sewer I could, area. I could fit it, but it just seems excessive in what I have. And I have something else that I have displayed there. Okay. So hey. I don't necessarily need it. Speaking of kids, I want to send a congrats to Tony Nice. Two new babies today. Did he just post? He just posted it. That's wow. great. Yeah. Hey, uh, this is a big surprise. Uh, we we. You, you know, came a little earlier than expected. So, so it was a big surprise to us in, in the group chat this weekend when uh, when they were going in for it. But yeah, big big congrats. And his to Tony. his cost of going getting into Disney just went up, huh? Oh, bro, oh. bro. You know what's funny? One yeah. of the first things he said was, "I when I found out that he that I'm having twins, my first thought was the annual passes are going to be so expensive." <laughs> oh, God, damn. A family of. Six. Six. Now. I was say all together at six now. Wow. That is crazy. Well, congrats, man. Tony Nice. I was just texting with them actually earlier, just seeing if everybody's good and and uh just the thought, man, Brian. That first night with the babies. But he's got two. Oh man. And these other kids. I just I would <laughs> Four be just kids. Sit, I'd be just sitting like Macho Man somewhere staring into the abyss. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's what I would be doing. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. All right, last one. It's a it's a big one. Um, wow. Damn, I think that's a rare boy. I sold that way too early. I had that and probably sold it for 30 bucks. 
All right, bear with me. Ian B. McDonald. I often find that most people misuse the term holy grail when it comes to collectibles, usually equating high value to a grill piece. In reality, a holy grail is something that, that you have to wait and search for years to even get the opportunity to purchase. I agree with him here. Yeah. Well, well I see me, both sides of that, but yes. Well, for me, I finally got the chance to get my ultimate holy grail, a WCW vampire beanbag wrestler. Vampiro. I'm a huge Vampiro fan, and I've been on the hunt for years for this one. There's barely any information on this line, let alone examples of these tail-end releases out in the wild. I've had it on my eBay save searches for years with no alerts. A while ago, simply by chance, I was cleaning up my eBay save searches, looking sadly at WCW Vampiro Beanbag and Vampiro Beanbag. I then decided just to check out WCW Beanbag, just in case any Vampiros had gone under my radar. And there it was. Top result. Vintage WCW Beanbag Brawlers plush figure lot of four, brand new with tax. Wow. Lo and behold, my Holy Grail Vampiro, along with three other new with tags, beanbags of Booker T, Scott Steiner, and Bret Hart. Although the lot uh, may have been priced at one ninety nine, dollars buy it now for all four of them. I smashed buy it now as quickly as I could. <laughs> yeah. That's the be- Isn't that like the best feeling? Yes. yes. Knowing yeah. I could use the other three as coupons. Once I sold them to bring down the price, I always knew if Vampiro popped up, I'd have to pay a hefty price for him, so it was the easiest 200 I ever dropped. And... In an even funnier note, I just listed the other three extras on eBay this week and got a message from someone wanting to buy the Booker T and Steiner. He was curious if I got them in a lot a couple weeks ago, also <laughs> asking if I had the Vampiro. Wow. Um, so, yeah, there you go. He, he I, I love to, when someone's holy grail or something like this because it's right. not something that's necessarily worth money, but it's like so hard to get. And when you finally find it, I, I know that feeling all too well. Right. Something and the so scarcity unique. creates value, uh, uh, obviously, too. So, yeah, so 100%. Who, who knows? That's what it is here. Yeah. yeah. That's very, very cool. But then, you know, like Brian sold it for 30 bucks because, like, <clears throat> are there a lot of people looking for a WCW beanbag vampiro? Not the time that I did Even this, if it's there's only you know, 10, 10 on plus Earth. years ago, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and you got to be lucky that when you put it up there looking for it, it's like a lot of my merch stand and foam finger stuff that I want to get rid of. A lot of it I spent so much money on in very similar situations, but I'm so afraid to put it up because they're I not, just... They're not... They're your grails, not other people's, and they're not going right. to get the value I mean, you maybe, want. Maybe yeah. some are, maybe some aren't. So like, I would get slaughtered on whatnot. You know, this is something I'd have to almost like create like an eBay store and just let them sit. That's why I know? say sometimes you kind of... People are like, well, I don't want to go on eBay because of the fees and blah, blah, right. blah. Well, first of all, whatnot has fees too, but also... I think ultimately, if you want to set yourself up for success and the most eyes to see what you have... You almost have to eBay sometimes. Yes, for right. sure. Yeah, that I mean, I mentioned, I, I don't know if it was before the podcast that I started selling stuff on eBay, and it's because, like, I have a lot of these Star Wars figures I was moving, and I just knew that they'd mean nothing to the whatnot people. Right. Our whatnot people are there for wrestling stuff and wrestling collectibles and podcast stuff. So, like, I would sell all these for $4.99 or, or, or less, but on eBay, they're going to they're going for 20 plus. Right. right. Yeah. All right. Well, up next is the Q and A. <laughs> Welcome, guys, to the Q and A. Use the hashtag AskMajorPod. If we read your question on air, you will get a prize. What are the questions this week, Mark? All right. My question is actually just for Brian. Um, oh no. R.I. Collector at Hasbro LJN R.I. He says, can you give us the backstory on Dusty's last match? So we talked about it. It's it's up there right now um, on the on the Vault channel, which is great, by the way. And, um, you know, Brian, you kind of briefly talked about how it was important to you and it was kind of lost or whatever. Uh, can you can you speak about like what went into that and why did that happen and, and what was Yeah, a little down? bit. And actually, I touched on this a couple of months ago when I found the um, envelope that he signed for me, which I'll reiterate, he, as a thank you, gave me, Kalen Croft and Trent Beretta, like a thank you card. And I believe it was a gift card to like Outback or something, Outback Steakhouse or something for like 50 bucks each or whatever. And that's what- Dusty bought you a steak. And literally has a beautiful Dusty Rhodes autograph on the 
you know, the envelope. And I had saved it all these years, and I had just, like, refound it. I was like, oh, my God. So I actually gave it to Papa Bear to get slabbed by PSA. Oh, that's fucking sick. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so I think, obviously, Dusty, I think, just wanted to tag with his sons because he had never had, I think he had done things with Cody and things with Dustin, but never all three of them. And to um, be clear, this is post Edgeheads. You, you, this is you, summer, spring 2010. And, and uh, you went down to FCW. We've talked about this before. You went down yeah, to FCW. I'm at too. the tail end of my FCW run. Actually, I might even be already called back up with Archer, which was a, it's just one of those things the way the WWE worked back then. Like I was literally in FCW with the, the dude busters dusty also he, the other thing which i think helped or was part of this is that dusty liked us and he got a kick out of us and we did like a six-man tag one time and he loved it and then he put us together permanently and we defended that we won the tag titles and we defended them like free bird style like he didn't know who was going to be in the team and he definitely got a kick out of us and but i think i got called up out of nowhere to tag with lance archer when we weren't tagging like you know just random way wwe works so i was still doing fcw as the dude busters or whatever so and i think that's why we were handpicked to be in that match with Got the roads but uh yeah it's just like an and honor of a lifetime and I, it was never like this is dusty's last match or anything like that it was just the just one time he's doing fcw match. it was a cool thing to be a part of and an honor but it just ended up being his last match and i don't know if that was maybe dusty was thinking that right like you know I'm in my 60s and I just tagged with my sons. Like, what, what, where do I go from? You know, and he had never worked the whole time I was in FCW. That was the only time I ever he ever wrestled, or even I don't think he, I never even saw him do something like physical the whole time I was in FCW. Like, he never even like just threw an elbow or whatever. So, it was, it was like I said, just one of those things I kind of lucked into, but it was definitely like an honor of a lifetime. And what what was Cody doing at this point? Cody had already been he's called up. I remember actually he's just turning into dashing. Like legacy had just broken up at that mania, right? They have the, the triple threat, and okay. he's like turning his maybe his vignettes, or he just debuted his dash in Cody Rhodes. So they just Dusty probably just asked them to come down to this FCW show to do this. Broski had done it. Like there's a way, maybe once a month, a main roster talent will come down and help pop one of our live events and do like a meet and greet and work the show. Got it. Something like that. So that's just that's what cool. This was. Yeah, that's great. Very cool. All right, Brian's question, Tyler Dingwell at Dingy3000. I kind of love that at. What would you do at a garage sale if someone was selling a rare premium item for much less than it's worth? Do you take the deal or offer a closer to market value? I'm talking LJN Black Card Minty on card for $20. You take this the one deal. stopped what, me in my tracks. What? You take the deal. Yeah, I, that's a, yeah this one stopped me in my tracks, and I just went, no, nah, you gotta you gotta just take the deal. You can't. That's the like, name of the game. Me, That's this, why you do it. This 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 black strap entree is really worth thousands. I'd like to pay you that. Like I just don't, I don't think. I mean that's that's the mark. That's the name of the game. That's what thrift stores are. and that's like the Gary risk B. they're Parker, taking. He goes like, to garage sales, thrift stores. Yeah, that's what people are looking for, right? That's the whole point. That literally, you if 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 some sort of agreement was made that at every tax sale you have to pay value for items, there'd be no tax sales. sailing would die. Yeah, because <laughs> right, the whole right, yeah. idea, of the reason people go tag sailing, yeah, is to get deals. Right. Yeah, I don't know why this one, like, for a second, my my morals were kicking in. I was thinking about this. I'm like, wait, but no, no, like that's not what this is, you know? Yeah, no way. Like, it's not like, and even so, like, it's not like you you walked into this person's house and they weren't having a sale and you offered twenty bucks. But even if you did. You're supposed to offer as low as possible. I mean, that's right. what negotiated is. It's like they put the price on that, not you. Right. And that's right. the risk they're taking. You know, they should, they should, if they're willing to sell something, you should do your due diligence and know what you're selling and what it's worth. Yeah. That's on you. And obviously, they didn't care enough to do the research. Right. So they're probably happy with that 20. <laughs> and also, probably happier not knowing that it actually. <laughs> but yeah, right. Yeah, right. You yeah, don't I mean, you yeah. don't sell it on eBay for a thousand and go back to them and go, hey, yeah, <laughs> guess what? Yeah, I mean, Mark, like you you hit the nail on the head. Like that's the whole point of these garage sales. Yeah, that's why people go is to get deals, not just on figures to flip. So, or to keep one of, one of Mark Bitter's anything. pastimes, right? Mark Bitter's is always posting crazy shit that he. You yeah, know. it's like a side business. 
Yeah, of course. That's, that's kind of like what it's all about. It's like, you know, like let's say something was listed on eBay. There was a buy it now and it was too low. Would you DM them and be like, hey, sorry, should, I should actually pay. You know, <laughs> hey, I it. fleeced you on this uh, purchase. So I just want to let you know I owe you 60 bucks. Man. No, I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I understand what he's saying. And like, I guess part of me would feel like a little bad, but it's like, nah. It's that's what this. I'm not even going to say the toy business line, but that's just how yeah, it's not. That's not. It's the. Ho- it's more the hobby than the business, right? Yeah. Right. And conversely, say we were doing major mark purchases of the week, and 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 Bill says, "I found this black card LGN on card for twenty dollars at tax sale." We'd go sick, dude. We yeah, wouldn't go. Like, you oh, fucking asshole. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Matt's question. Alex Mahoney. Mahoney four one three. Uh, are you in the four one three, pal? That's where I. That's where I am. You're having an old school three disc DVD compilation made about your career. What three matches do you choose to be highlighted on the set? Oh man, I thought it was what? an interesting question for all three of us. You know, because oh, we man. all have so three disc DVDs would have like a documentary on one, and then one would be the matches. Or, well, no, or, in my mind, like when WWE releases things, one's the documentary, and then the, you get two discs of matches or one disc of, ma- you know. Well, he's only asked us to choose three matches <laughs> I each, know. which I think we can each choose our three favorite matches. This could be an interesting clip for, for social media. Right. Okay. I'll go first since I already thought about this question. I know my, my answers. Number one, I'd have to pick my U.S. title match with Dolph Ziggler, TLC 2011. Mm-hmm. Um, just a, a career moment for me starting the year as a nobody started Z Trolling Island story end of the year winning the US title so for so many reasons I mean that's a condensed version of the story winning that um, I'd have to put on Intercontinental title win Wrestlemania 32 just the I mean come on winning the Intercontinental title Wrestlemania is great but just like the, the backstory behind that's pretty incredible you know not supposed to be in the match get added to the match End up winning the fucking thing. Dad hops the barricade. You know, wild WrestleMania moment. And then the next one, it's it's pretty obvious. The, the Nick Gage GCW death match. Without that match, I mean, I probably my rate would probably be fucking a third of what it is on the Indies. <laughs> you know, probably fucking oh, working man. shindies with Heath. <laughs> Do it. Book the woo woo guy. Yeah. So that that match changed my. My career and uh, changed my life. So those three matches would be on my DVD. Do, do you quick question for mine? Do you think that it has to be me wrestling? Mm, probably not, because you're well, not really a wrestler anymore. Involved. Okay. Well, I think that I would go um, for sure. Tony Neeson, for Mark Sterling versus Danhausen and Hook at All Out. Um. As far as being there ringside, I think uh, Tony Nice versus uh, Orange Cassidy on uh, the main event of, of, a, of a Rampage was an unbelievable, like, 22-minute match. It was so fun. crowd was so hot. There was, it was unbelievable. I got involved a bunch of times. It was some iconic, uh, some viral clips. There was a, a moment from that match that has, like, a million views on YouTube. <clears throat> I think that was probably the most fun I ever had Uh in AEW as a manager. And I guess I have to say versus John Moxley in the main event of Dynamite, right? Yeah, you got I it. I thought you were going to say versus Chris Statlander at the Creator Pro uh, gender reveal. I, I I actually, one of the first things I thought about was me versus Chris at Blitzkrieg, to be honest. Oh, really? I thought it's, you were going to say you and uh, Stacks against the Viking Raiders on Raw. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll be on the other DVD. Uh. <laughs> Uh okay, I'm gonna go WrestleMania 35, winning the tag titles, hometown, best friend, in front of my family, the end of the streak. It's literally so storybook that I couldn't have even written it myself. It's like still kind of surreal sometimes when I think back at that, how that all shaked out. I guess it would have been so much better if you got uh, Mattel figures to <laughs> commemorate the moment. <laughs> We're gonna sign those legends agreements, and they're gonna be on MattelCreations.com and. 2025 um i i'm real proud of uh main eventing for the tna title against christian with with, when we were doing that talent exchange with aw you know pay-per-view i thought that was cool plus just the admiral respect i have for him you know someone i grew up who's become my friend who i think is 
amazing. You know that that was important to me. Um, I don't, I don't, and you know what? I don't, I don't know. I feel like I'm always like seeking the next big thing. So maybe I can say, you know, this Saturday night, Bound for Glory. Oh wow! Full Metal Mayhem, brother, with the Hardy Brothers. Like what? You know, that's pretty damn cool. Defending my tag team championships. I don't yeah, want to. I don't, don't want to put a period on the end of this one because I feel like I'm still seeking that next great match or moment. Yeah, well, that's such I, a great I, point. I, the I feel like way. you got to be seeking that next great moment or match, and that's something I think about a lot. Um, you know, as we get older, almost you know, almost forty, wrestling for twenty years, it's it's wild to think of the stuff we've done in twenty years. Sometimes it feels like the twenty years. Took twenty fucking years. Sometimes it thinks it feels like it went through like a fucking blink of an eye. Um, and sometimes I feel like I still even haven't even started what I want to accomplish, and I'm twenty years in. It's fucking right. crazy. Right. But you gotta have fucking goals. And someone and- says bet to you in a conversation, and you feel like a hundred years old. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm at. But hey, honorable mention though. Um, what if they're making a major wrestling figure podcast three disc DVD and there's three matches? I think you got to go main event of the cruise. The cruise was awesome. The cruise was cool. That I mean, AIW where, where Swaggle retired for like one weekend. <laughs> oh, that one definitely. <laughs> that one's definitely in there. That's up there. Is that the first? Is that the only? We only tagged twice, right? What else did we tag? We the, did a the, Creative Pro one. No, we did the toy drive. Yeah. Right against the uh the shirt crew. Right. So I mean, the hammer side's gotta be. Oh no, that. Flair's last match, bro. But that was just a run in. Still, that's Still like, cool. That's yeah, like it, it was it was cool. Well that can be on awesome. there, but but with Shivani screaming, it's the major wrestling figure book. I mean, that's like, like <laughs> can't top that. You gotta put Hammerstein on there for sure. Yeah, I like that too, man. Yeah, I, I, the cruise. The cruise. I don't know if I put the cruise. The cruise They're just singles fun. mat matches. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> They're just both singles <laughs> Matt Gardona matches. With run-ins. But Dylan's involved in it. I don't know. It's like what about, more. Me, what, about, <laughs> what about me and Myers on that fucking shindy and we're wearing the PBR outfits against the two Russian guys? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's Gallo's shindy, by the way. It's not just some shindy. It's literally Gallo's fit. Oh, man. The two yeah. Russian guys. <laughs> it was rough. No, they're doing like an 80s Russian gimmick. They weren't Russian. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Man, fuck. Was there anything else match-wise? Shit. I mean, there's a lot of FWF stuff, but I feel like that's cheating because we booked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got to put, you can put me versus Brian at that TNA pay-per-view. Oh, that's oh, yeah, on there. Right. Yeah. For or, sure. Or Brian and Tiddy Hilgis be at Chelsea. That one I like better because it's more like there's people pro wrestling there, right? to be, right? What? Aren't there actually fans of that one? And there's fans of that one. Brian and Chelsea's who? debut is a surprise. There's a little more. It's uh, Brian and Tennille, FK, oh, yeah. Emma. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Which, that was such a weird storyline because, like, it's it's never, like, explained why she's your partner, but I think if you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> that was weird, yeah. And we never oh, yeah, wow. they, eh, I feel like in commentary they, they said enough. No, I don't think that it was ever mentioned once. Mm, I think they're like they have a history together. These two, I think they said they said things like that. Yeah. <laughs> they have a history together. They used to eat oh. catering together <laughs> backstage. Man, I'm trying to think of any other major pod matches. There's, a, I mean, you two obviously had a great run as the major players. Yeah, we did some cool stuff with that. We worked, worked the Hardys. The Hardys. The yeah, it was cool. cool we had a couple yeah, cool TNA we, things too, like that pay per view where. Uh, it's like the tag gauntlet, and then Chelsea gets destroyed by Big Cass at that table. Oh, yeah. That was fun. Shit. We got to do a little major players with Smart Mark something soon. It's a big package. If any indie promoter wants it, that's a big, that's a big package. You could do a podcast. My, my rates have gone up for 2025, so it's an even bigger. Up. <laughs> Holy shit, you're trying to get some weekends off, huh? Oh, wow. Mine, mine have gone down, so maybe it evens out. <laughs> we'll leave it out. <laughs> I had to make uh, a deal with Ed from the Square Circle Expo. I said, I got some good news and some bad news for you, pal. Oh, my God. <laughs> I said, which one do you want first? The bad news is my rate has got up. The good news is I worked a deal with Ed where I don't I don't even care. I pulled back the curtain. I'll give a fuck. Usually, Ed from Square Circle 
because it's a two day convention and a match. He gives yeah. me like a flat fee for all of it, and yeah. he keeps whatever's at the table. Uh-huh. I said, pay me X, and let me keep everything at the table. Oh, so you kind of deducted it then? I deducted it, but I'm also betting on myself that I'll make more than right. what he would have. Because what my my price would have been too absurd, you know? right? <laughs> for fucking two days of society at a match. Gotcha, guys. It's it's insane. Right, 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 right. So, I should, I could tell him I can wrestle this year. It's not uh it's not guys. Easter. Maybe this is it. <laughs> yeah, I I'm serious. Mark's never, Mark's never been, or has he been? I've never been. I would love oh, to. Go. Mark, what, what a bitch. this what, is the it. best. The major yeah. pod at the Squared Circle Expo, six bad tag. That'd be great. Maybe we can live record Friday. Oh man. Wrestle Saturday. Ed, it's, it's usually Easter weekend, so we, I've been making him fly me home Saturday night, and I can't do the show. But we get some hibachi. Show. Hibachi, bro. I, I won't say thank you. You won't yeah, say- can't wait. <laughs> can't wait for Mark to throw his napkin down after he's stuffed. Just walk out of a restaurant. Oh, can't fuck wait. T Rex heads. And yeah, shit. and we can do Toy Story gear. You know, I could be Buzz. <sighs> Holy fuck you, Brock, shit! Be, too far. Let's stick it on, boys. Right. Let's stick it on. Wait, 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 wait. Weren't we going to do... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Just put a pin in that, and I don't want to say anything, but there is something that we need to wear something about. There is something that we need to wear together. Oh. Does it, does it involve a baggie? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go some good housekeeping. Welcome to Good Housekeeping, youtube.com slash at Major W Pod. We have the toy vlog up there. Brian Myers, Jordan Grace. It's already overperforming. Check that out. Overperforming. <laughs> what? It is. Statistically, it's overperforming, guys. New thumbnail. Look at that thumb. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Little toy Toy hee-hoo. What a place. What else do we have? We have nothing in the can, huh? Did you guys film something at Comic Con? Because I've been planning for next week at the comp. No, I was there for like a second. Day. You can't, you can't walk. I couldn't do anything. You didn't oh, film no. while you were there. I was there to sign when I was supposed to be there and left to catch a train. Like there was no like I wasn't there. Like hey, bro, I'm going hey, to Comic Con, bro. bro. It would have took hour. You can't do anything. I could, I what? couldn't even get to the bathroom hey guys, to take a I'm piss. Getting off the train. I'm going to Comic Con. Bro, the bathroom line was so shit. long. Jake the Snake hey, was guys, on the shit. The bathroom line. There, it's there so was long. A, a take a shit line, and there's a urinal line. Jake the Snake tapped out and off the shit line and went, went marching out of there. I saw it. In my I'm eyes. a little upset about this. this We're gonna have to figure something out for next week, but we'll, we'll, we will. Well, actually, I mean, Brosy. A lot of major marks been dropping Detroit stuff on us, but I'm sure you're flying in like two minutes before your match. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I could maybe go to. De- oh, you're not going to be there Sunday. You're leaving. Yeah, I'll be there Sunday. I, I'm not going before BFG. Brian, we'll just film. Uh, we'll do what a wedding fr- vlog. You're, but you'd land Saturday. I'm actually uh, landing like late Friday night. Mm. Where's the wedding, Brian? Can me and you hit a toy store before the wedding? Ooh, this isn't good. Not we really. I'm thinking there's nothing over there. I'll figure something out. Oh, man. We need something. Is there anything we can put from like from the vault? Yeah, no, no. I, ha- I have some ideas. I have some ideas for the week that we don't, the weeks that we have no content. Okay. So Pro we'll WrestlingTees.com slash MajorWPod. Get all your stuff, all your clothing over there. ProWrestlingTees.com. Collect Major, guys. So much cool stuff. Mark, those are Look the shortest Mark's shorts legs. ever, Mark. <laughs> 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 Mark. Bro, are you wearing Shawn Michaels referee shorts? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I thought you were the referee shorts over there. You're wearing Shawn Michaels referee up, guys, shorts, bro. Right? Chill. Yeah, got, put those bird legs guys. away, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Collect major. Get your Sergeant Slaughter. Get your Andre the Giant. There's a Macho Man up there. There's a Major Ben Nice. I think there's a Major. Oh, the New York Comic Con exclusive prints. The leftovers up on there. Check those out. Collect Major. <laughs> Yo, those guys. Those prints, man. Unreal, right? If you've never bought a print from, oh man, 
They have like a they're, texture to them, right? They're the greatest. Of, they, if the quality of paper is so serious, it feels like it's almost made of metal. It's so it's, good. It's wild to explain. They're very nice. What not every Monday, Brian and I sell our stuff on what not. Autograph figures, gear, random stuff. Check it out. Mark will be there eventually. <laughs> Major Rewind, J. George doing a hell of a job. If you just started listening to the Major Pod, listen to Major Rewind. Go back in time. A little history lesson. And then alternating weeks, we have From the Vault. What's the latest From the Vault? What's next? The latest... Uh... I forget what did I what did I put up there? I don't know. That's I was excited about it. Um, I put up oh, the ruthless aggression style figure oh, yeah, fantasy we that. draft. Um, I got some comments on that. People were like kind of blown away at one how excited you guys were. Yeah, how excited Brian was to do this. Isn't, uh, this is pandemic though. Like we're like no, stuck. we're still no, no, no. We're still in WWE. Oh, we're just so we're just not being used and bored as fuck. That's what's going on. <laughs> this was yeah, yeah. There was some. This was like right before, like because because I think you guys by the time you presented the card, I think it's pandemic. I think we're in lockdown because when I we're, believe, when we're actually doing the shows, we are in lockdown. Yes, at least the later ones. Yes, but but I remember this this figure, this first one. Where you present, like Brian presents a, a piece of paper, basically, for the first card. And Matt goes all out. And Brian's like, what is, what the hell is this? Oh, yeah, you got- God, you like bamboozled me. Yeah, God, <laughs> Yeah, Brian just read his card. He's like, in the first match, um, right. it's so-and-so versus so-and-so. But the, the, the draft is really great. And I, I'm going to continue this because it's just a wacky origin yeah, you might story. As well conti- you might as well continue it. Yeah, but the, but the, it, I correct me if I'm wrong. You guys were together when you did this draft. I think so. In Brian's house. It sounds familiar. You either at a yeah. house or a hotel. Yeah. Okay. Crazy to think about, but. All right, plugs. Uh, this weekend, Thursday, if you're listening, I will be in Winnipeg. Big tag team match. Myself and Broski Lloyd. Against Josh Alexander and Jody Threat. Oh my god! Oh, wow, it was supposed to be me and SDL. SDL just got neck surgery. By the way, best wishes to Steph. Hope you recover soon. Yeah, quick and then recovery. it was going to switch to me and Josh. I said I don't want to do a singles on a Thursday. He said I got Jimmy Lloyd. <laughs> Lovely singles on a Thursday. Is Jimmy Lloyd like allowed on an airplane? Like how does that work? Well, let's see if he makes it. I might have a fucking <laughs> singles on a Thursday. <laughs> I can't believe you took a Thursday booking. Holy shit! Well. International rate, Brian. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and international dro- rate. Oh, no, Winnipeg's far. You have to fly to... Wait a oh. second. You just said you are getting in late Friday night. There's no way. Yeah, I'm flying. Oh, wait, you Winnipeg. are. Okay, wait, wait. So there's no... Fr- You're coming from Winnipeg to Detroit on Friday? Yeah. But the flight's late? It's a later flight. That's weird. All right. Yeah. And um, then, of course, Brian and I will both be there bound... For glory, uh, I'm taking on PCO. God, we both have some fucking insane matches this week. Monsters weekend. Ball, a match I, I am I, not I looking forward to. Ugh. But I will be there. Two titles are on the line, the TNA Digital Media, uh, <laughs> TNA Digital Media and the International Wrestling Championships, both on the line, Monsters Ball. Check it out, baby. Let me wait. Monsters Ball means we can't do a vlog. You're gonna get locked up for the night in that the closet. Oh shit! How are you supposed to win this match? No G's of P. Uh, no. You're locked up. Oh, you can't eat, right? No. Yeah, no you're locked drinks. away. Who made this fucking match? Uh, Abyss. I think. Do you think? Do you think that it's bad to uh, do like what we used to do and maybe do like a impact vlog? Mm, yeah, I, I'm not gonna be like, "Hey, so and so, get in this vlog." Yeah, we'll be in this we vlog, literally have like know? two very important matches. Very I don't, important see, that, matches, I don't yeah. see that being done. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and Brian, for Brian, wrestler too, right? Hey, man, it's full metal mayhem. If you don't know, that's TNA's version of a TLC. Who's that random TNA wrestler behind you, Brian? Oh man, so random. <laughs> She follows me everywhere. It's so weird. 
Bound for Glory, biggest show of the year. It's you know it's TNA's biggest pay per view, defending our tag titles. ABC, the legendary Hardys, very very cool spot to be in. So, looking to make some history, make some memories Saturday night. Sick. AW's back live at Cedar Rapids, uh, Iowa this weekend. So I will be there, but but without Tony Nice. Oh damn! Because he oh, so you just walkie talkie duty, huh? <laughs> Well, Josh Woods and Arya Davari will be there. Oh, also. okay. Oh, right. well, yeah, guys. We'll see you next week. Over right. and out. Order Bound for Glory live on pay per view. Run it on. Join the community at MajorMarks.com and get access to exclusive content, behind-the-scenes footage, and become a member of the Major family. You get bonus episodes on our careers, wrestling figure history, and exclusive interviews with our friends and legends in the business each month. You also get early access to YouTube videos and, of course, the weekly podcast ad-free and breaking news updates. Brand new shows featuring... <laughs> oh, baby. And you... Each month, you can interview someone in the wrestling business with a captain's log. Also, buy, sell, and trade in our exclusive Facebook community where people have become friends in real life. Certain memberships include merch like monthly trading cards and quarterly mystery gifts. Become a major mark and join MajorMarks.com today. <laughs>